Benny, bring me everyone. What do you mean everyone? Everyone! I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. Barry Manilow know that you raid his wardrobe? Let me explain something to you. Um, I am not Mr. Lebowski. You're Mr. Lebowski. I'm the dude. No one is to stone anyone until I blow this whistle. You can't fight in here. This is the war room. Surely you can't be serious. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. Oh, Lord. You can imagine where it goes from here. Welcome to the Dealers Game Podcast. This is Joseph Buchanan. Uh, across from me is Leo Van Damage and Sacha Alari. Say hello, people. What? <laughs> hello, people. <laughs> Not literally. But um, uh, yeah, well, welcome back, uh, people. Um, okay, so we're going to go straight into Can it. Please forgive my unpreparedness. That's all right. It's all I good. I had a flat tire on the way here, so I had to get that shit changed. Yeah, man. Did it with one hand as well. Huh? <laughs> you did it with one hand as well. No, I actually had to call somebody down because I couldn't get the fucking lock and not, not the, the bolt off. It was a ball leg, yeah. yeah that, how long did that take in, in the end? Because it's about an hour or something. It's about an hour, yeah. Okay. So it's like, it shouldn't take that long to change the tyres. It should take about five, ten minutes maximum. <laughs> but when, when the last person I took my car to tightened the nut bolt too tight. Ah, uh, right. It was one of those power... Yeah, I can't that. get it off with my bare hands, so I had to call somebody down. Uh, but apart from that, all is well. Okay, fantastic, man. Serge, you good? Yeah, I'm good, man. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> cool, bro. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Let's get straight to it. Bad center. Let's start with that. Okay, so... Um, um, I don't know. I don't know if you guys are fans of the original. I am, and so when I saw this, I thought, yeah, this is this is what Billy Bob Thornton was born to play. No, doing it. No, he's no? born to be Monsters Ball, fucking the shit out of Halle Berry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I really like this. For trailer. sure, like he fucked her. Well, he might have like I don't know, put a thing, a knuckle up there or something. Like <laughs> I'm sure he did. Um, but yeah, I mean, this trailer's a joke. I'm, I'm down with this, man. Do you know what makes me laugh, like, personally on the inside? That that's the black midget from me, myself, and Irene. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> I just imagine him shagging the fuck out of whatever the chick was in that. that Renny Zellweger. It's not Renny no, Zellweger. No, the other chick. The other chick. It's another blonde chick he has a ba- she has a baby with. So, like, basically... Start of the movie. The start of the yeah. movie is one blonde chick, and then she... Because she cheats on him with the chauffeur of her of their wedding, which right. is this black midget yeah. or small person, sorry, um, black small person, and then he then uh, fucks off, leaves like these three kids with the biggest dicks in the world apparently, because <laughs> that's when they take the piss out of it, right? When they have right, a barbecue right. and they're like, "You know, they're my kids," and I'm like, "Those kids are bigger than bigger than those fucking sausages you're putting on there." Um, and then, uh, and then, yeah, and then that's it. That's every time I look at that black midget. I'm oh, sorry, black little person. Yeah. I think, uh, but this one's a joke, man. Like, I'm, I'm down with it. I get what you're saying. No, Billy Bob does it right, and it's good to see that, um, uh, that chick from uh, Christina Hendricks. No, Therma, whatever her fucking name is, from uh, House of. Um, I'm not sorry, not House of American Horror Story. Kathy Bates. Whatever the his mum. Yeah, is, Kathy Bates. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's in American Horror Story. Um, but yeah, so it's good to see her, like getting, doing uh, stuff again, getting in the movies and shit. Because I, I think the last film I saw her in was in um, uh, The Blind Side. Oh really? Yeah. She was. She plays Michael Orr's tutor. In the Blind Side. Oh right, right, right. Yeah, okay. It, it's okay. the uh, if you don't remember the Blind Side people, it's the yeah, it's the white, one that she won an Oscar. Yeah, it's the, the one that white people feel feel guilty for black people. Um, uh, so they gave a white woman, the whitest woman in America, an Oscar for it. That was the same year she got a Razzie. No way. Yeah, she got. She's like one of the few people that I can't remember what film it was for. It may have been for Miss Congeniality too, but I don't think they came out the same year. I, don't, I, don't I really so. don't think so. It was a film that she did for uh, that year that came out. Again, don't, I don't know what film it was, but this is she took the Razzie 
and then afterwards that same year because she offered to read the whole script yeah. for the film she was like I'm going to take this on the chin blah 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 she took it in good jest took a Razzie and then a few months later took an Oscar for The Blind Side yeah sounds like a good deal to me so she was like <laughs> yeah cool isn't it? let's do this so yeah. she's, she's obviously a fair sport but yeah Bad Time looks good man Touch. yeah Touch, what do you think oh, I love the first one I think the first one's like one of my favourite Christmas movies ever man after Die Hard, of course, but like, it, I don't know. There is my, no Christmas my, my, there is only, my only, my only, my only, <laughs> my only thing, like, I like the trailer, it's good, it's just, it's kind of like the sequel I didn't want, you know, like, I love the character and stuff, but I thought it was a perfect standalone movie, but, you know what, if it's just as funny as what the original one was, then I'm game, man, mm. so yeah, but yeah. that's, that's my feeling towards Bad Santa too, mainly because it's been so long, right. since the last one, I'm kind of like they should have released this years ago. To be fair, yeah, to capitalize on it while it was still a thing. Um, you know, nowadays when you've had this long a gap, you probably have like Bad Santa, and maybe not call it two, call it. You know what I mean? Sure, subtitle sure. or something. Sure. But, 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 but my, yeah. my thing with that, it's not like it's a uh, blockbuster. It, you that's can, true. You, you can make this for like two pounds. But the... true, that's also true. But then I'll tell you a good movie that was great. Crocodile fucking Dundee, all right? Was it actually literally called that? Yeah. Fuck crocodiles. <laughs> Sorry, just in a second, um, I know we've just, like, I've just handed it off in my own little head it's, here. It's cool, it's cool, right? About, um, I, I wasn't listening to what you were saying because I was reading this, but I just thought you might find it quite interesting. So the film that, she, that Sandra Bullock won a Razzie for was a film called All About Steve. Never heard of it. With Bradley Cooper. Oh, okay. And Ken Jong, as in. Oh yeah, the little guy from, from the from, from the Hangover. Hangover. Yeah. And how that was a well, something not, that shouldn't have had a second part or something. Well, well, like, yeah, was one and two, for that well, one, one and two were good, but then the third one was so long, long in the tooth. Nobody cared. And yeah, the was, third one. Yeah, that LA one was the Is third that, one. I thought this was the second one. That was the second one. No, second, no first yeah. one. First one. He goes to New York. Because right. he's never been anywhere but, like, Bumblefuck nowhere in a fucking place. Uh -huh. And then, fucking, the other one, you go, you know, gangsters are after him. So, he goes from New York back to... Gangsters are after Crocodile yeah. Dundee. Yeah, gangsters are after Crocodile Dundee. It's a bad move, man. Yeah, Colombians as well. It's a bad move. Yeah, the cartel. It's a bad move. Yeah. That's like, that's like people trying to go after Chuck Norris. It's yeah, good. <laughs> it's bad. And then, and then, and then ten, no, 20, 30 years later, they do the third one, and it's like a watered-down bullshit version. Oh, of, that, that came out recently, not too long ago, right? Yeah, that was like, within the past 10 years. Oh, I think I remember that. Yeah. Now I think I was wondering. Nobody ever asked for this. Why is it? Why yeah, is it why, why, yeah. Why, 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 why are we watching Crocodile yeah. Dundee? I mean, but the thing, thing is, with Bad kid. Santa is no one asked for it, but it's going to be good. It better be good. I'm pretty sure that's, it will that's be. The only that's, my only, that's my only gripe here. I mean, like, it's... The yeah. face is like, damn, you guys talk yeah. about it. No, but it's we've we've got into a tangent that's not about this. Well, <laughs> we just got back to it. But it I never know what story. we're talking about anymore. We're talking about bad Santa and like okay, okay, yeah, okay. About okay, the fact sure. that this are you, know, not, listening are you not listening to the what? conversation? No, the no point, I listened to it. The, the point was the point was yeah, the yeah, point. Okay, I'm gonna bullet point this. Point was been a long time since the last one. Okay, why do we need it? When did the last one come out? Oh, 2003? 2003. So it's yeah, like, nobody asks no for this, but I'll, I'll watch it. Yeah, totally. <laughs> it will be, if it's any as funny, if it's funny as it's Just, I don't want it to be Crocodile Dundee 3, that's yeah, all. Cool. Next. Next. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, so yeah, that was a uh, <laughs> bad time to uh, Fist fight. Um, this trailer is uh, has uh, Ice Cube and... Uh, what's this Day. guy's name? Charlie Day. Charlie Day. From uh, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia fame. There you go. Um, and uh, yeah, this trailer starts off with um, these they captions. It, they liken it to the likes of Tupac and Biggie and Ali and Fraser. Yeah, and then uh, Batman versus Superman. Batman versus Superman. <laughs> and then it's uh, Ice Cube and Can I ask Charlie you a question? Day. Batman versus Superman. In that scenario, who's Ice Cube in that scenario? <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going there, man. Who's, who's Ice Cube in that scenario? Come on. Um... <laughs> Would you say he's the Dark Knight? Would you say he has to be? Would you say that? Would you say that he would be the Caped Crusader? Yeah. 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 Ah. Yeah. 
I'm not gonna lie to you. I agree. <laughs> um, if I had to pick, but yeah, Charlie Day's good. Charlie in um, in it's always sunny. He's very good. He's also good in uh, I tell you what, uh, Pacific Rim. He's good Pacific in Pacific Rim. Yeah, Pacific he's Rim. in Pacific Rim, man. He plays the weird that. doctor who, um, who works with the other guy, the other doctor. Oh, okay. Sort of like. Realize that the um, I liked him in that Jennifer Aniston flick. What was it called? Um, Brangelina Breakup. No, no, oh, no. What was that Jennifer? Ar- <laughs> it was him and a couple of but horrible bosses. Yeah, yeah, he's horrible in horrible bosses. bosses. He yeah, great, uh, with uh, Jason Bateman. That's and the one. Yeah. Um, the other dude who. But I mean, like this looks like this looks like a good team up kind of thing going on here. I like the concept. There's some laughs in this trailer. I think it was kind of like yeah. Ice Cube went. Yeah, so I've done it once with a with a small midgety black guy. I'm gonna do it again with a small widgety midgety white guy. Um, so he did ride along one and two with Kevin Hart, and now he's like, now nah, I'm gonna do fist fight with Charlie Day. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I. It, think, it, look, it looks do cool. Do you think he'll say today was a good day, <laughs> like in this movie, like he does in all the other ones? Does he? Yeah. So in Ride Along, he's like. All in all, I gotta say, today was a good Oh, right, thank you. <laughs> that, that's his um, final thought kind of thing. Yeah, from okay. uh, uh, NWA. I, I didn't ever actually notice that. <laughs> no, yeah, it's I, like... That's a thing? Yeah, it's a thing. It's a thing? Okay. Yeah, it's a thing. Well, you know, you need to uh, update yourself on your Ebonics. Right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, I, for, it's... It's yeah. there. It's not something I'm going to go out my way to watch. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it looks funny. But besides that, I'm not, I'm not gonna scream and run to the cinema to watch this. It's, the be all and end all of it is that it all takes place. I'm guessing in a day. Yeah, it looks that way. Yeah. Uh, because it starts, they kind of tell you like the fight is at the end of the day. Yeah. So it's like okay, so this all takes place in. The, excuse me. This, you want, this all takes place in the space of a day. So, um, who knows? It might be good. I hope so. Yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll they put money into it somehow, so <laughs> I could make that film for about three grand if I didn't have to pay the the, the actors what they needed. <laughs> well, that's, <laughs> that's deep, man. You, Do you not think so? Do you not think you could round up a bunch of extras and tell them, look, Ice Cube and Ice Cube is doing a film mm-hmm. for free, like so you have a deal with Ice Cube, and like I ain't gonna pay you, Cube, and he's like, all right, cool. You know, like I get distribution rights or some shit, right? So you okay, get cool, right? No worries. So you're telling me you couldn't like swindle maybe like a like a, a few corridors from a school for maybe like a grand? Right? I couldn't. I know a lot of people that could. Yeah. So, well, okay. So you know a lot of people that could, right? Mm-hmm. So you could probably get that for maybe like fifty pounds, right? You could say, okay, fifty pounds. Pay fifty pounds. Let me borrow this corridor for uh, an hour, right? Between classes. Yeah. No mm-hmm. worries. Cool. No worries. So there's your there's your like main shots right there, all in the corridor. Maybe you swindled the playground for another tenner, right? Okay. Motherfucker, you still got 2,980 pounds, no, 940 pounds left. <laughs> so, you know, like, as long as you don't have to pay principal actors and mm-hmm. you just pay, like, you're like, okay, listen, I'm not going to pay my, my workers. I'm just going to pay you in food. Mm-hmm. Just fucking go to Costco. <laughs> Bring a Costco card with you. You could do it, is what I'm saying. You can make this film for less than 3,000 pounds. Maybe yeah, I'll 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 put a big uh, question mark on that. For, I, uh, I I agree with you. I think the majority. Yeah, you should you. be agreeing. With I totally me. agree with you. Yeah, I totally you should, agree you're with the you. one who should be. Uh, to more be, quite, people to, should to be, be honest, you got just got to think of your friend circles. How many teachers do you know? How many head teachers do you know? If you know a head teacher and you're a filmmaker, My girlfriend's a head teacher. You, shit. You, you, you utilize that shit like um, our boy Richard on Friends Talk Film. His wife is a head teacher. I'd just be the oh Sabrina. Um, any chance we could film around your high school for half an hour? Okay, so, so your biggest don't, problem there is that she can't act. She doesn't need her to act. Don't need her to act. Yeah, see, if you're going to pull off comedy, you need someone that can act. Look, that, no, hold on, hold on. We complete, you just completely ran yeah, over the fact can, that yeah, we're not paying the main not, actors, but they're doing it for free, right? Okay, if you're, if you're going on through that board Yeah, part, exactly. I was saying that if it's going to be a bad film. That's what I just said, though. <laughs> yeah. I, what, I, what I just said was, I could make that film. If, if, if I didn't have to pay the actors I would, the millions I, I, of dollars I'd go, they require, I would, hold on, hold on. If yeah, I didn't okay. have to pay the actors the million dollars they require, All right. 
I could make that film for three thousand pounds. Well, I don't know. I would, I, I would well, subcontract it to Sasha. To I, make I, 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 I don't know about not paying the actors though. I I do believe you have to pay some of the actors. No, no, no. What I'm saying is, if you yeah. didn't have to pay the exorbitant cost that Ice Cube requires for him to be in a film, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. you could make this film for right, like three thousand. Okay. Now, now I get you. Now, you now I get you. Yeah, I get you. Remove get his you. wages from the cost of the film because yeah. I was. I think the majority of this movie. This is my roundabout way of saying. The majority of this movie is Ice Cube's wages. <laughs> like the rest of it is tuppence. I don't think they're paying Charlie Day a lot of money. I think if, is this a Cube Vision movie? Um, no, it's, no, it's, it's a new line. Okay, so, so, so it's, it's, a, it's Warner Brothers. So it's not him, basically. No. It's not his. It's not his production company. Yeah, okay. and I got Christina Hendricks as well. She's not cheap. So uh, I don't know how long she's in the film for, but uh, okay. she's not cheap. Christina Hendricks is. Uh, she was in a show called Mad Men. She was also in Firefly. Right, okay, she's the red chair, red yeah. chair. Yeah. See, I think Gillian Bell is funnier. Oh, yeah, you're probably G- right. Gillian Bell is the, the, the chubby she's one. The, yeah, the yeah, chubby yeah, one. The chunky one. She's in that, um, that Comedy Central show, um, Workaholics, right? I don't know. I'm just, okay. I, know, I know the show, I haven't seen it, but I know she's in, um, I know she's in 22 Jump Street. Is she? Yeah, she's in 22 Jump Street. Okay. Yeah. She's in 22 Jump Street. Um, that film's fucking hilarious. Uh, Tracy Morgan, I reckon he's yep. pretty cheap now, mm. since his thirty rock like thirty rock days. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, yeah, well, yeah, you're probably right, man. I, I, I think I, the, the the highest paid bill actor is Ice Cube. Ice Cube, yeah. Cube. yeah well, he's remove, right that he's the headliner. Yeah, if you remove his wages from from that, that film is is the budget is quite small. Mm-hmm. Anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah, that was. Uh, <laughs> That's my word about saying fuck this movie. <laughs> if it's if it's there online, I am, I, I am, I am, and I'm watching Anyway, yeah, that's Fist that's Fight. Right. <laughs> On Cesar Palace hooking me up online, I mean. That's Fist Fight. Right. It's coming out next year. Um, next try. What's the next try the passengers? Yeah, uh, 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 uh. Yep, next try is passengers. So, passengers. Um, I'm not sure what to make out of this. It's just like what I said earlier, it's like Pandora. I've got so little to say about this. Only that this whole trailer shows it. It more or less shows, shows the whole it. Film. Yeah. <laughs> Will you watch it though? Maybe. I, I'm. I'm not. I'm not too bothered. You know, if a film doesn't captivate me in like the first, this is what I've started doing. If a film doesn't captivate me in the first half an hour of it, I start skipping through it. Oh wow! I just start. I start. I start you know, like you speed read. Yeah. I speed watch. I'm like, okay, I've given you half an hour of my time. You haven't, there's no set piece that you've come out with that's captivated me yet. Mm-hmm. I'm not in, I'm not into this movie. I need to like skip through it, watch what, get the, get the gist of it. Let's move on. If there is an action set piece that looks interesting, then I'll, I'll skip to the beginning of it to watch it and watch the setup to it. But apart from that, I've started to do that because my time is way too valuable now. <laughs> like, I've got other shit to worry about where I'm not going to just waste my time watching uh, a film that's not worth watching but I mean Chris Pratt do you know what I have to say he's gone a lot he's come a long way from shitting on his girlfriend in the movie 43 <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> I don't know if any of you have seen that film no um, never okay so in that movie uh, he exists in a, it does because it's like an anthology movie where like uh, they show like little stories throughout the course of the film right and it's like Basically, that that's the kind of film that he is, and uh, he he his character that he plays exists in a world where um, people shit on their girlfriends. So he's in a park with his girlfriend. It's like a Rick and Morty episode. Yeah, he's <laughs> he's, he's in a park with his girlfriend. Um, who's who's the uh, who's the girl from uh, Scary Anna Ferris? Movie? Anna Ferris. That's it. Yeah. So he's in. Uh, so you have seen it. No, I know he's married to her. Oh, is he married to her? Yeah. Right, okay. So <laughs> he's in a park. really funny about that movie, I think. What was it? Well, scary who's, movie who's or it? Movie 43? No, movie 43. There's a... Uh, which famous actor's in there that you wouldn't expect to be in there? Is um, it Richard Gere? Richard Gere. Richard, Richard Gere, Gere. Okay, so Richard Gere's neighbour got him to do his scene. Okay, he hadn't filmed the whole film or something like this. So correct me if I'm wrong, but... I don't know. But Go what ahead. happens is... They got one of the famous actors in there. 
Right, I think it was Richard Gere. There's a lot of famous actors. And, and no, no, but this is the thing. Because they had that particular actor, and the reason why I say it's Richard Gere, because he doesn't really do that many movies, but based on Richard Gere being in it, they filmed the whole movie around that fact that... Richard Gere is in it. Richard Gere is in it. <laughs> I don't know whether it was... I don't know how I don't know whether a it was selling Richard, point. I don't know whether it was Richard Gere or someone else, but as a case of, as long as you've got one big name in your movie, right. you've got something to sell. So, so obviously, everyone was like, he's in there, sure, I'll be in the movie. And that's so could you, so this they is, got the budget. So let and me, uh, to, let, let's just, yeah. um, let, so Joe, Joe, you be Richard Gere, okay? I don't even know what we're talking about, sorry. Movie 43. Okay, yeah. Right, you be Richard Gere, right? Um, no, you don't be Richard Gere, you be, I'll tell you who it would be. Because there's two characters in this movie, right? There's Kate Winslet, mm -hmm. and there's, um, what the fuck's his name? Wolverine, Hugh Jackman, right? right. So, you be Hugh Jackman, Joe, and you be Kate Winslet, <laughs> such a... Right, guys, I want, to have, I want you to, to... Just pretend this is a pitch, right? I want you guys to be in a movie. Right, I don't know if you're interested. Have you guys read the script? No? Have you guys read the script? No. No? no? You've not read it? Mm. Okay, cool. That's fine. I'll just get a quick little pitch on you. Both of you guys are going on a blind date first time. Hugh Jackman, you're a really successful guy. You know, you've been on the front of magazines and everything else like that. Kate Winslet, you're a, uh, you're, you're a woman who's struggling to find... Um, to find love, you know, and you're you're not too sure whether or not this is going to be like a good, a good start off. Uh, yeah. Is this interesting you yet? Who else is in it? Uh, well, hold on, hold on. Before we go, I need to talk about your scene first. Right? Yeah, I'm not really that okay. interested in it. So, Mark, you're not interested in it. Yeah. Well, you know, can I just tell you that in this scene, you're on his first date, and um, Hugh Jackman has testicles on his chin. That's pretty funny. You know, <laughs> Hugh Jackman has testicles on his chin, and everybody around. Kate Winslet, your character, okay, seems to think it's absolutely normal, like it's not a thing, and so you're looking at it going, oh, uh, you've got, and he's like, yeah, yeah, no, uh, and people around are addressing him, and she's, you're going to be looking at other people, Kate, going, do you guys not see the balls on his chin, like nobody thinks it's weird, and nobody thinks it's weird, and you're going to be like, yeah, people teased me when I was younger, Hugh, and you're going to go, really, yeah, and then it's going to be because you've got a scar on your neck, but not nothing to do with your balls. Um, so I know obviously you guys are really high caliber actors, but guess what? Richard Gere's in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> so so um, whatever happens, like Hugh, we're gonna sellotape some testicles to your chin. Um, and that, that's not uh, what, because he's in the movie. The investors <laughs> no, of the studio. No, 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 no. But, but you want to be in this movie because Richard Gere's in this movie. Well, how much? Right, how Hugh? much? How much? How much money are they paying me? Not a lot. <laughs> I don't for, my day, for my day wage. What's your, what, do you think, what do you think Richard Gere charges his day wage? I don't think he does it as a day wage. Um, well, he did for that movie. What do you think, what I, do you I think Hugh Jackman's day, day wage is? I have no idea. Yeah. I, either I, way. I, I can not tell you. <laughs> either way, Chris Pratt shot on his girlfriend in that movie. Hard. Well, that's when he was still doing Parks and Recreation anyway, so he was... He was... Do you know what he... Do you know the first thing I ever saw Chris Pratt in? The OC. No way. Yeah. Oh my god. A show called the OC. If oh. anybody doesn't know the OC, you 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 didn't spend your Sundays watching T four. Uh, OC was brilliant. Toyo uh, Toyo uh, Igo sponsored it. <laughs> wow. Yeah, they sponsored T four on the Sunday. Um, um. Yeah. So he was in. Yeah, that was his first thing I saw him in. Was in that. Was in that. And uh, from that, we'll segue right back into Passengers. <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was talking about, I was talking about Chris Pratt. I know, but yeah, but, but yeah. We to movie forty three, and then we went to the ho we went into a whole side segment. Yeah, yeah. fuck, sorry man, <laughs> I can't help it. I, we just end up tangenting. We, I just end up tangenting. I'm sorry. That's brilliant. <laughs> um, um, don't have me on your podcast again because I just talk shit. Um, <laughs> so uh, I. I, can't, I don't know really what else to say about this film, but um. Who's the actor who plays a robot? Uh, okay. That's um, I can't remember his name now. Um, Satch. Yeah. That's Tony Robocop. Blair. Uh, <laughs> I forgot his name. I don't know how I forgot his well, name because he's so famous. <laughs> well, you've got two. You got two of the hottest movie stars on the planet right now. Chris Pratt is like now like one of the biggest names in Hollywood right now. Everything he seems to do kind of turns into like gold lately. Everyone's ablaze with uh, Chris Pratt. You know, he's coming straight off Jurassic World now, which is like one of the biggest movies ever made. You got also, what's her name? 
bloody Katniss. Jennifer Lawrence. There we go. Jennifer Lawrence. Jen Lo, mate. Jen Lo. Jen Lo. Still, you know, st- also top of... Or J Lo. J Lo, that's it. J Lo, that's it. Still her. at the top of her game, you know. It's been directed by... Is she the top of her game, though? But she is, though. <laughs> but what, 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 what are you on about? That's Michael Sheen. Normal... normal... Michael Sheen. Yeah. Yeah. Sheen. 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 As in... Charlie. No. Oh. Well, sort of, but no. It's not spelled the same way. Well, it's good to see that Chris Pratt is making this movie because he he's he doesn't need the money, but he's he's obviously getting paid bucks. Oh yeah, of course. Um, I don't think this movie is something that he's looked at and gone, I believe in this storyline. I think this movie is like so cash grab. I don't think so. I don't think so either. Mainly because of the director they've got. Who's directing? It's uh, Morton Tydum. Ty- I can't really pronounce his name properly, what but he did he, head, he did Headhunters and Imitation Game, both really, really great movies. Headhunters is a really good film. Um, so, you're telling me yeah. Imitation Game is good. It is good. It. It Imitation is Game is really good. But Headhunters is the better movie out of the two. What's Headhunters about? Headhunters is a is it Swedish or is it? It's Swedish. Or, yeah. it's, Swe- it's a Swedish movie. It's a crime kind of thing. Just check it out. Okay. It's check a dark it comedy. It's. Yeah. You, I think you enjoy it. Yeah. It's, it's, um, Why do you think I'm going to because I'm a piece of shit? <laughs> because I, I'll enjoy it because I'm a piece of shit. No, I, did I you enjoy like, American like, Psycho? Um, probably not for the same reasons you did, but yeah. <laughs> There's only one way you can enjoy American Psycho. Um, yeah, I did, yeah. I, Jared Leto gets killed, so I'm... Totally <laughs> 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 well, this is what I mean. It's, it's that kind of comedy. It's... Yeah. It, at first you think it's a serious film and then some, uh, no, just watch it it's great okay, okay. Um, uh, but yeah Passengers that comes out at Christmas um, the tra- if you're going to watch the trailer be wary it shows everything so <laughs> um, if you want to watch this film then uh, yeah just don't watch don't the trailer don't watch the trailer <laughs> yeah. don't let them sell you anything about this movie but that goes back to the main issue that's happened before though right is that production company oh we're going to talk about we'll tra- talk we're, about gonna, that bit we're talking about later are we yeah, yeah. yeah. okay yeah. Um, so yeah, uh, on to the next trailer. I it's... didn't read the notes because I, cool. I had a flat tire. So that's cool. Um, so the next trailer is well, they're not really trailers, but they're little teasers for Ghost in the Shell. Um, uh, I don't know really how to critique this, but um, you like the look of it, don't you? You said yeah, the look. Uh, the directors nailed the look of the nineteen ninety five anime. It doesn't look like the TV show that animated TV show but um is it so hold on so I haven't seen like the standalone complex it's got it's it, forget it forget about style, that or is this going to be going off this is going off the the, the 1995 movie, film the fucking the movie that basically started it all yeah, yeah. Like, we wouldn't have the matrix if it wasn't for that film yeah basically. that's right yeah. yeah okay um have you seen it Sash yeah I've seen you've it. seen it yeah obviously you've seen it Ken Ken Joe oh, right. <laughs> or Jose Jose <laughs> Um, but yeah, uh, it. Lo- I mean, aesthetically, to me, it looks. I think this is more for the f- the fans that were. were uh, I don't know. I don't know. And now that I've seen it, I thought, ah, right, okay. This, they're going. They they've got the same aesthetic as. Because people the, were really anime. pissed, right? Because they didn't cast like an Asian actor or and, an Asian American actor. Because they were like, oh, it's cultural, pro- you know, appropriation. Why why can't it be an Asian actor? It's an Asian movie. It's like I I will say this. Now that I've seen Scarlett Johansson in the the you know the the with the haircut and everything, I'm mm-hmm. like, I'm in, I get it. I'm yeah. in, I can see it, I see why you've picked her. Mm-hmm. She she does a good job. But but <laughs> I'm scared. I'm not. Not anymore. I don't know. Yeah, but I've been honey dicked before with this sort of like the trailer looks really good and then you watch it a la fucking um, man with the iron fist and then you're like this is going to be an all out anime kind of style movie and then you watch it and it's just complete dog shit oh well this is the, this is the thing I, I'm i hoping this is it very sticks very close to the anime but has I'm, I'm worried that he's he's stuck too close to it because the if he releases something like the 1995 anime it's going to be a boring film for a lot of people yeah and yeah, so it's um, those people are stupid. Yeah, I'm gonna lie to you. <laughs> um, if those people watch that and they're like, if anybody watches Ghost in the Shell and is is bored, I'm like, you're retarded. You need well, to. 
that's but that's the thing. It's the the pacing, the pacing of Ghost in the Shell is is quite. It's very long form, and um, if you don't, if uh, this is for a mainstream audience, and so if if this um, director stuck to what the Night Night Five film was like, then it's gonna it's gonna have issues, and so I hope they inject more. The aesthetic looks great for for to me. And I hope they inject, when they officially release a trailer, I hope they've injected more action into this because um, it's not void from action. It's, it's smart action like The Matrix was. Mm -hmm. And so if they, if, if they keep to that aesthetic, then yes. A few, uh, things, few things need to go down in this film for it to sort of stay true, right? I'm going to work backwards here. Tank fight. Say what? The tank fight. Where... Oh, at the end of the film? Yeah, I'm working backwards, right? Okay. Tank fight. Um, I want to see you know the you know the bit where the the, the hacker yeah. his finger splits apart and he's on the keyboard. I want to see that shit too. The camouflage fight, the camo fight. Oh yeah, yeah. In the in, in the open area, mm -hmm. that needs to happen as well. I don't think that's going to happen in this film. Should that's that if if this turns into a franchise, you'll see that happen along the line. But um, they're not they're not going with the puppet ma they're going with the um oh, they're not going with puppet master no 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 they're just straying away from the entire fucking point no 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 i know that's a good reason why they're not doing it because she wouldn't be alive in the other films but they've done the they've done the tv there's a ghost in the shell too yeah yeah, yeah but that them. standalone complex is if she didn't so basically <laughs> standalone complex is like that at one point and then it splits that way okay. so the puppet master hasn't happened yet right and so um I own it, it, but I haven't. No, because the the second one, uh, Ghost in the Shell Two, is a standalone complex. Ghost in the Shell Two is called Ghost in the Shell Into Innocence. Innocence. Yeah. yeah, and that's set a few years after the first film. Yeah. And so then, so then, standalone complex and all that stuff happens in between. No, it, it's it's like ju it's just it's just if okay if the puppet master didn't happen, that's what sh that's what that's what she would be doing. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, so, um, but I think the most pivotal thing for me, and I think me personally anyway, hmm. needs to be the intro. Yo, I think we'll get that. So, I think what, we'll get I, that. what I want, because I'm a piece of shit. No, no, I think I we'll get that. I want the music. No, we won't get that. I know, that's what I want, though. Like, Ken, Kenji I, Cow's got nothing to do with this. I would love that me that music that music piece with it's, the singing. It's a wedding song. Um, Is it a wedding song? Yeah, it's right. a wedding song. Okay, so but, I would love that music piece with the singing, and mm. then and then it goes, like the writing. That, and that's like, what inspired the Matrix. Yeah. yeah. That's the way that inspired the Matrix. And then to have that, like, body... Like being built in the water and shit. Yeah. And then hopefully we get to see Scarlet. You know. <laughs> so who knows? I think we'll we'll get a degree of seeing that. I don't. I'll, they'll change it for artistic reasons or whatever. But it depends on what this this. The only thing I can go on about this director is that he's done The Huntsman, <laughs> and so, and that's not good. Uh, um, isn't that a good film though? No, that, that film. movie sucked. Was it balls. Snow White and the Huntsman? Yes, or was it, was. it The Huntsman no. was the sequel? No, the first yes. one. Snow, Snow White, White and the Huntsman. Huntsman. Yeah, and then they did a second one, or the second one's coming out, right? No, no the really second one's alright. Um, and that's the, the Huntsman down. and something. That's right. just called The Huntsman. Oh, it was called The Huntsman. Oh, it was just The Huntsman. Huntsman. There you go. Same director. No, different character. Okay, so from from what I can see, it looks fine. And going back to the whole actress thing, um, because because of she's a cyborg, she she can look any way she wants. Yeah, but people and, were pissed because it's a Japanese anime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But people people that are saying this don't <coughs> even know what the property is properly. So um, I've noticed that people have been up and up. Oh, it should should be easy, but you don't know anything about the actual character. Do you think Do you think they should just? Uh, I'm just curious your thoughts here. Mm -hmm. um, do you think off the back of this, if this is successful? they should then look at maybe making a live action Akira. Oh, they're already doing that. Are they already doing that? They're already doing that. That was um Chris, there was a um there was a port a few months ago that Christopher Nolan had something to do with it but it ended up being Dunkirk. Um I don't know who's they've been trying to get this since Warner Brothers got the rights to it, they've been trying to film this for years. Uh, Keanu Reeves was attached to it at one point and so was um what's his name? Uh the Revenant dude. Oh, DiCaprio. DiCaprio. Yeah, DiCaprio. Yeah, DiCaprio and Tobey Maguire. And Tobey Maguire. But, the, the, but, but do, you do you know why? Do you know why? Do you know why? It's a long story. It's a long story. Canada? Right? Do you know why? Do you know why Tobey Maguire and um, Leo DiCaprio had the rights for that at one point? So it would never get made. Oh. They're fanboys. Okay. Yeah, good. And then the thing is, they got older and realised, <coughs> well, 
I'm spending a lot of money on these rights and not make a movie and you know what I mean? Like life gets in the way and shit and it's something. I wonder how much the rights for that cost. So that's that's <coughs> I'm not that's sure. Just that's just that's a lot. And then you've also got what you've also got to understand, just because like certain fanboys don't want to see an actual live action, you understand the animation company that um you know, that Toho. have the rights, Toho, they they want to make money out of this shit. You well, I mean? no, I think the actual. So sure, yeah. But, um, I mean, like with Ghost, uh, was it Ghost of the Shell where Steven Sp- You know, they they approached him. Mm-hmm. They approached Steven Spielberg for some anime rights or something. I think it was Ghost of the Shell. We reported this like ages ago, and you know what I mean. They approached him. You know what I mean, and they sold the pitch to him what the movie could be, and he was like, "Okay, cool. I can see a film in this. I'll buy the rights, and we'll get a director." And but he, he, we'll sort it out. he had the right. He bought the rights back in two thousand three. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but I'm just uh, saying as an example of rights. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? I'm not saying. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. for those two actors to do that, they did that out of love. I mean, I remember Brad Pitt doing the same thing for Old Boy mm-hmm. for a little, at one point, and uh, that just ended up getting made anyway. You know, because rights expire if you don't do anything yeah, yeah. with the IP after a certain amount of time. Well, we but you got to understand, though, yeah, Warner yeah. Brothers. Warner Brothers have been sitting on Akira for years, and to be honest, the eye is all on Ghost of the Shell for the next wave of anime being adapted into live action films right now. And you got to understand, yeah. All right, you know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna say this, and you said this years ago. I reckon the Wachowski brothers will probably direct Akira. I'm not saying whether this is true. This is speculation. And this is mainly down to... I think they're the Wachowskis now. Well, the sisters the, will, will probably just, end up doing this. They're just called the Wachowskis. This is, Wachowskis. But this yeah. is based... This is this is just sheer speculation on my part, yeah. I'm, I don't know shit. I ain't coming up with any special insider things. But look at their track record on what they've done and squandered. And look at their last film... Big turkey mm-hmm. for the studio, you know, huge giant turkey. They owe Warners. Now, Warners are in the superhero business. It wouldn't surprise me if they said that they were directing Man of Steel two or Just Sleep. No, that's not happening. No, I know that. I know mm-hmm. that's not happening. But you got to understand, they owe them. Mm-hmm. They owe them, okay, because they're exclusive to Warners, mm-hmm. all right? And everyone knows what they're capable of in terms of their directional style and stuff. So if a report came out that the Wachowski brothers was directing a DC property, it would not face me. But if it came out that they were directing an anime property that Warner Brothers happened to own, aka Akira, that would not shock me one bit. And to top it all off, as for the Christopher Nolan stuff that was going on like last year well of course they'd chase Christopher Nolan you add Christopher Nolan's name to anything that brings a lot you know he doesn't have to direct it even as a producer that lends a big lot of yeah. weight I wouldn't to see it. him directing it because yeah, yeah. he likes doing his original oh yeah stuff. of course of course but then this is what happened with the DCU when you saw Chris Nolan's name attached to Man of Steel with the Skythorp logo at the start you know what I mean? Everyone's like, oh, it's going to be amazing because Christopher Nolan has something to do with it. This is the trap that the studios do to all the casual people that don't know shit about movies because, you know what I mean? They'll hire a big name producer just for the name alone, just to open the doors to get you to buy the ticket to go, oh, he has something to do with that. But do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, it wouldn't surprise me. It mm-hmm. wouldn't surprise me if a joint venture even if they said Nolan and the Wachowskis Nolan's producing it and the Wachowski brothers are directing it I could totally see something like that being announced Mm -hmm. but I'm not saying that will happen well I am but I'm not you know what I mean but you know it wouldn't surprise me but um, Ghost in the Shell my thoughts on my thoughts on this what I'm seeing I like the aesthetic I'm not gonna lie I like the aesthetic I'm not 100% sold because I don't... Or you, there's nothing to go on. Yeah, uh, the, there's nothing the, to go on. But also, I'm not 100% sold because of the director and because of Snow White and the Huntsman mm. being a bullshit film. So, I, But I just hope that he is... A, uh, I don't know. This is one of those things where is he a fan of the source material? I don't um, think so. You don't think so? Well, this is the thing. You know what I mean? Like I said before, comic book movies, okay, um, only got good in the 2000s 
in my opinion, because you start getting directors. You don't like the original Captain America movie? Come on. No, no, no. All I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, like, there was more consistency with comic book movies from the 2000s because you've got a generation of film directors that grew up on with these characters for 40, 50 years that know what they're about and stuff, like Sam Raimi's Spider-Man, the Marvel films, you know what I mean, etc. Sin City, you know, like in the 80s and 90s, we'd, we'd never have got films like that. Um, in terms of anime, we're in that same realm, you know what I mean, where certain directors like the Wachowskis were influenced by these anime films, you know what I mean, from, from the 80s and the 90s and even now. So until I know that there's a director that gets the source material, etc., then I'm going to wake up and listen and go, you know what, I'm interested. At the moment, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know whether this guy's just been hired by the studio and it's just a studio IP. I don't know whether he's a fanboy deep down, but based on the aesthetic, like you said, Joe, yeah, I like, I like what I'm seeing. But, you know, again, like you also said, there's not a lot to go by, but if I was just basing it on his last movie and his only movie to date, you know, that that movie doesn't fill with me with confidence. Um, so, I, I think, I think to me, because I, I mean, I've seen the Snow White and the Huntsman. It's, it's, it's a throwaway film. Yeah. Um, I think it more depends on what the writers yeah. do with that film. Because that's a, Ghost in the Cell is very spe- uh, specific in its, in how, the plot goes. <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know how to explain this in either way, but um, if it's written well, I think he because he, he seems to be a good at, with action to a degree. So yeah, yeah, we'll see. We'll, well see. Uh, you, you, the best thing about this is if this is done right, and then they do Akira right, you mm-hmm. might finally, finally get a decent Dragon Ball film. I don't know, Dragon Ball and Akira are very different. Actually, no, no, Akira and Dragon Ball are very similar in some yeah. ways. Because we all know we love the other film, right? The other Dragon Ball. I never Dragon saw Ball. the. Did I never you saw not Dragon love Ball. it. No. I loved it as much as an arsehole on my elbow. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I actually thought it was okay. Yeah? Yeah. It's literally voted as the worst film of all time. No, it's not, though. <laughs> And um, yeah, that's some powers for. So Mike Myers has um, come out what? of hiding. Well, Mike Myers has come out of hiding, and he's recently uh, had an interview about um, with his, uh, his um, the guy who directed uh, Austin Powers, Jay Roach. Jay Roach. And um, um, they were discussing. Uh, they're they're still discussing how to bring that back. And um, that to me, I think that will put him because he he only makes. Surprise cameo appearances in films on these days, uh, yeah. uh, Mike Myers. That is, and I think that's a shame because he's so, he's so good. But just because of the love guru, and I know that he took that personally. Yeah. He should have just got up and just done Carried something on. else. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And um, if he, I, I like I, I like the Austin Powers films. It doesn't they don't take themselves seriously in any way whatsoever. Um, and just just just. I don't know if if they come up with a really good idea that they can bring all those characters back. I'll I'll be happy to see them on screen again. Do you think? Do you think he still works? Oh yeah, he he shows up in films. No, yeah. but I mean, no, 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 not him. Do you think the Austin Powers thesis still works? Oh yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. I tell you what, I still love probably one of my favorite Madonna songs. I know a lot of people are gonna get pissed off. Beautiful Stranger. That's yeah, a, good a good song. song. From the first... Why would people get pissed off? Some the people might be second. like, it's not the best Madonna song. Because um, there might be Madonna freaks that listen to this. Who knows? <laughs> yeah. um, I'm just saying, I just remember Beautiful Stranger being a pretty good song. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah it's a good song. Uh, it's a great and, song. And that was around the time she that was That was the second film. She was, she was doing yeah. like, her second resurgence. And it was actually quite right. good. Yeah. Right, um, right. Yeah, I mean, was that the second one or the first one? Yeah, the second one. one. Was it the second one? Yeah, second one. Okay. Um, so she did, yeah, so she did that. And then there was a, then she did, what the third one was Gold Member? Yep. Yes. And then is there another <laughs> one after that? No. No, that's it. That's so the, yeah. the, the, the first one's Austin Powers and the International Man of Mystery. Yeah. yeah. And then the second one's Spy Shag Me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then it's Gold Member. Yeah. Right. Uh, is there anything else? No. I don't know. Well, this, does it say what this one might be called? No, no, they're, they're just... Speculation. Mm-hmm. It's not even speculation. They've been trying to get a solid idea to bring it back. Well, that's uh, that's his direct yeah. 
from I mean, I'm, I'm mixed opinions. If they can do it, if they crack it, then yeah. But because, especially since it's the same team, um, I like I said before with Bad Santa too. It's probably been a bit long since you know yeah. what I mean. That's, it's been a while. It's been a while. So. But then, you know what? That could be a joke in itself for this series that doesn't take itself too seriously. Yeah. They could rip the piss out of reboots. So, yeah, they had Beyonce in it, didn't they? That was, yeah, they Beyonce did. That's gold member. member. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, right. So, I mean... Oh, know, yeah, the second one, yeah. Yeah, that's right. I mean... Third one, third one. That's the third one. Was it the third one, Beyonce? Yeah, yeah it was, yeah. Uh, so, so, who was the... I was just, I'm just trying to remember, just for the sake of remembering... Heather Graham was yeah. in the second, second one. one yeah. yeah, so Liv, 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 Liz Taylor was the first one. Liv, Liz, Liz, Hurley. Liv Tyler. Liz Hurley. Liz Hurley. Oh, Elizabeth Hurley, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Elizabeth Hurley was in the first one, and then was it Heather Graham in the second one? Yep. And then Beyonce in the third one, yeah. Okay. Yeah, you know what? I mean, if they released it, I, I don't know if it's going to be like a video on demand kind of thing. No, nah. nah, that would nah. go straight to cinema. Nah, it's, 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 they, they, yeah. the they, they don't cost much to make at yeah. all. Uh, so I do like. I think what I do remember was quite funny. Was uh, I think was I don't again. I don't remember. Was it the first or third or first or third? Mm. Uh, could be the second. Who knows? When the um, when the henchmen get killed, mm. yeah. it's like, and then they have like the family. Oh yeah. The, the yeah, yeah, on the phone, and yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, oh, they don't understand. Oh, right, 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 yeah, yeah. And then they do the whole grieving process for him and stuff. <laughs> yeah. That's the and first one, when he gets like, run over. Yeah, and it's yeah, like it's the something you don't really think about yeah, in yeah. a movie, like the Stormtrooper. Yeah, know, yeah. You just get shot, and you're like, oh, man, that must suck. <laughs> and you think about, like, there's a lot of things that, that, if you actually sit down and think, like, okay. All I these people are. are yeah, they are people with a yeah. family and all these things, like. You know, if you look at the Death Star... Mm -hmm. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Kevin Smith came up with yeah, that analogy as well. But it's like, you, you know, you don't think that... Um, the you, who's, who's building it? They're yeah. private contractors. Yeah. yeah. They're the ones building it. So you've just murdered a bunch of innocent fucking people <laughs> who are just doing their jobs for money. Yeah. Like, yeah. Good, <laughs> good work, fucking, you know, uh, rebellion. There you go. Yeah, yeah. That, that makes perfect sense, though. And, do you know, I hope they bring that from what from Rogue One. <laughs> wait, 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 do, you think, do you think they would they might do I mean like you know what they uh, that's one of the funniest moments in The Force Awakens for me it's like what was your job here he's like sanitation sanitation <laughs> and you know what though what I love about that interaction between John Boyega and Harrison Ford Harrison Ford hasn't been that Harrison Ford in fucking years Okay, it's like Harrison Ford just woke up at that moment just to be on so like. You have this horrible habit of tanging it off, right? <laughs> yeah, really but, but yeah, anyway, <laughs> anyway, back, <laughs> back on um, Austin Powers. Um, yeah, you know, I'm, I'm game for seeing another one. Um, yeah. yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you want to close the window? Oh, open. Oh, yeah, go for it. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, I'm, I'm all for it, uh, to cool. be honest, because it's. it's that the first one was released in 1997, I think. Yeah, right that's right, 97. So it's going to be yeah. It's going to be nostalgic soon. It's not, so it's no, it's going to go all the way around to be nostalgic. Hey, I remember Austin Powers, and it will be it will be funny again purely because it was a thing back yeah. in the early 2000s, and then it died died away and it'll be back again, just like everything else. And then they'll release it on Blu-ray, all four of them, the quadrilogy. <laughs> so yeah, something like that. Yeah, and or they might they might be like, hey, we're gonna reboot the franchise and we're gonna keep going. But, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, well, um, okay. So on to the next topic, and that's Equalizer Two. And um, yeah, um, looks like um, sold. It looks I like mean, it. Lo hold on, let me finish. <laughs> it looks like um, the fan. Uh, what was it? Uh, Magnificent Seven. Well. Magnificent Seven looks like it's going to. It's it's doing well because they've just greenlit this, and so. It's clearly going to make its money back at the box office, and so that's why Equalizer Two has now been greenlit. And so, I've not seen the first Equalizer. Black Taken. Oh, okay, okay. Um, <laughs> Black it's Taken. Great. It's great. It's great film. It's good film. Okay. Just the, my only my only gripe my only gripe with it was I guess you know as a guy that used to watch the Equalizer on TV back in the eighties and nineties. I wish like David was it David Woodward? Edward Woodward. Edward Woodward. I I wished he'd like cameoed some somehow. Oh, he was already dead by the time this came out. Was he? He died. He's dead. He died about ten years ago. Oh shit! Well, 
Well, you know, like put his face in the paper grave, or yeah. something. I don't know, man. But why like, put his face like, in the paper? Have a, have, a, have a little nod to him, man. He was he was he was awesome. Man. How would you do like, that? Without, I don't know, yeah. man. Same way they got fucking um, Marlon Brando no, to Japan. Yeah, no, not CGI. No, no. You ever watch the Incredible Hulk, the Ed Norton's one? Yeah. Where he's watching the TV and he's watching something that is the guy that played yeah, David Banner. Bill, Bill Bixby. Bixby. They managed to get Bill Bixby in The Incredible Hulk. And it was just a random TV show with Bill Bixby on. He's watching it. And I was like, ah. In what scenario good. would that happen? Well, obviously Denzel's watching the TV and there's Edward Woodward on the TV. Done. What would, they be, what would they be watching? It doesn't matter. It could be <laughs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, I just want to see where your face goes. You could be with watching this. anything. You could be watching okay. anything. Look, I want the damn nod, damn it. <laughs> I'm going to watch it. I'm my grandkids are watching. It's all good. Sorry, Cheers, people. fucker. <laughs> Sorry, people. I had to open the window so it got loud, but it's fucking... No, but that bike was... It's, it's, it's like he's got a noise uh, enhancer on that bike or something. Yeah, it's, called yeah. a, it's called an exhaust. <laughs> having a small penis. <laughs> <laughs> You can note that bit down. <laughs> uh, right, okay, uh, so... Yeah, what do you... Um, do you know what I'm down for it, man? I like the first one. It was pretty good. Um, I never watched a TV series or anything like that. Mm. As far as I was concerned, it was an original idea. Oh, not right, original, right. but, you know. Um, but, yeah, I mean, Anton Foucault's involved. I love that director. Yeah, I, that's he, what In my eyes, he can kind of, like, do no wrong. Yeah, because yeah. of Training Day, right? Yeah, it's yeah. not just tr- because of Training I mean, it helps. <laughs> yeah. it what about help. King Arthur? Uh, King Arthur supposedly was quite good. Uh, I don't know who told you that. Uh, but <laughs> he was... Um, but, but everyone's allowed to have a bad one. Everybody gets one. Everyone gets everybody one. Everybody gets two. one. One um, or two. But, like, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I'm down for it, man. Anton Fu- did he do Street Kings or did he produce Street Kings? I don't Kings? think he might have produced that. I'm Maybe. Sure. Um, I think he directed. Well, I could be wrong. wrong. No, you could be right, actually. I don't know. That's a good movie, Street Kings. Yeah. What's that? Keanu Reeves and Chris yeah, Evans? Uh, Forrest Whitaker. Uh, yeah, it's David Ayer. David Ayer. David yeah, Ayer. David Ayer. Oh. Yeah, that was, you know, it's just, I just swear to God, I was just about to say. Street Kings are a good film, though. One of the other directors that I love is David Ayer. Mm. Yeah, me too. Especially for fucking Fury. Yeah. yeah. That, I was thinking about that on the way here before my fucking tire blew out. And I was just thinking how fucking amazing that movie was and how I need to watch it again. Um, he looks like a thug, man. Look at him, man. He looks like Stone Cold. Yeah. <laughs> Stone Cold directed films. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone would get stunned in the yeah. film. Uh, but yeah, um, man, I, I, I'm I, down I, with it, man. I'm down, I, I'm down with it. I want to check it out, see what it is. Cool. I want to see, you know what, now that you got that in front of you there, like mm-hmm. just David Ayer's like, collection of films Suicide Squad, Fury. No, uh, he films. wrote tra- He wrote Training Day, right? He, yeah. He was yeah. a writer on that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then he directed one of the best buddy cop films ever. End of Watch. Watch. Yeah. End of Watch. What a bad boy fucking film. I, I, really I urge that. everybody to go see that movie. You want to, like, you know the, uh, you know those two. Uh, so Jake Gyllenhaal actually witnessed the murder on his first day. No way. Training with the because they went out with the real LAPD, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, him and uh, Michael. Pena, Michael Pena. Yeah. And they, they, they were, they were out, and on the first day they witnessed the murder. Jeez, that yeah. must have, that must have been something. It's deep shit. Man. I can't, I can't imagine what. The, oh, I guess that he just uses that. Yeah, they, they, the, they channel it. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's deep shit, man. It's fucking. That film's badass. Anyway, off David A. R. Back to Equalizer. I'm down with it. Antoine Fuqua is a great director. Um, so yeah, no, I'm looking forward to it, man. Apparently, so I had in Training Day there were scenes that they couldn't film in because it was all bloods area, right? The bloods. Oh right, right, right. Yeah, that they, makes they sense. They could yeah. only they could only film because of him. No because way. he knew people in that hood. Wow. That he could get connected to and let him in. Jeez, that's. But he grew up in like. Pennsylvania or some shit. But, that's insane, though. But he had that connect. That's insane. Then yeah. you, get, uh, you just can't. You just can't film here. Yeah, you, they're you like go. you just no because they actually filmed in the ghetto, like in that really rough area. They filmed oh. there, and so they're like, "There's the, the only way you can capture that realism is by filming there." Yeah, yeah. And the only way that they could film in there was with certain people's blessing that mm. they couldn't get without Antoine Fuqua being involved in that project. Wow. That's, that's insane, man. That's that's insane. Insane. Otherwise, about to back, yeah. bust a cap in Hollywood's ass. <laughs> yeah, jeez. Yeah, right, don't, don't cool. So okay, so yeah, um, cool. I'm up for that. <laughs> um, okay, so that's um, uh, more news on that as it as it comes. Um, but yeah, on to Star Wars Rogue One and uh, the Disney CEO 
Bob Iger says that he's managing expectations for what Star Wars Rogue One will make over Christmas. Um, he, I think a lot of people are expecting it to make uh, Episode Seven okay. amount of money. Yeah, which but um, which I, will, like, I always said they've they've hit a problem purely because they called Episode Seven. Um, what was the Force Awakens? They didn't. Yeah. They didn't put the episode seven on the poster. They just put the Force Awakens. And now, a lot of people that I know they say, "Oh, is that the next episode?" Yeah. Said, no, yeah. no, no, no. That's something separate. And so from, from, from them losing, this is where I think George Lucas is a genius. Is that, okay, this this is this is episode one, two, three, four, five, and six, and it's it's all that. It's on the DVDs. It's on it's on everything that you look at. These, yeah. This is episode one with its sub its subtitle. Now they've they've taken away the subtitles and just they're just calling them whatever they're calling to them. To fool people into thinking it's a sequel. No, it's, watch it or but that's, no, 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 it's going to confuse even, people. No, well, I will say this: right. in this segment, I'm going to shut the fuck up. <laughs> mostly because, mostly because this man that I'm pointing at Sasha over here, this man is the foremost expert on Star Wars when it comes to shit. And I, everyone should borrow his greatness. And his knowledge. I'm not. I'm, I'm and, not. I'm and, not. And, I'm, well, yeah. No, you know what I'm saying. I'm gonna. I. I. I'm not really gonna talk about Star Wars because it's not really my thing. I love Star Wars, but not as much as this dude. So like, you know, when next man knows more than you, you just allow next man to speak. I, 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 so it's like I I, over to yeah. you, Sat. I generally agree. I generally agree with everything you're saying, dude. Um, although I understand the reason why they took the episode seven from the main title. For marketing purposes, because a lot of people... We're that, stupid. Well, you got to understand, a lot of people that went to see Episode 7, this is their first Star Wars experience, mm -hmm. like ever. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? They thought, um, I know it's technically a re remake, but like, you know what I mean? Like, like whatever. But for a lot of people, you know what I mean? They've gone and now gotten into the saga by rewatching them. You know what I mean? Sure. I don't. Um, but, I don't. I don't um, think it would have made any difference if it was called Episode Seven: The Force Awakens. I don't think it would have made as much money. No, no, it would. I don't think it would have made two yeah, billion. No, it would. I think it still would have made a lot of money. I don't think it would have made so, two so, billion. So you're you're telling me? I'm telling. But, I'm telling but, you if it was the seventh film in a series of films, mm -hmm. okay, especially if it was called Star Wars mm -hmm. to a certain demographic. Not me, because I'm there opening day like a motherfucker. So I'm there regardless. Do you know what I mean? But there's certain people out there that are like, oh, fucking Star Wars, I don't want to watch that. Do you know what I mean? Like, those guys? All yeah, right? but that's no, Star, no. Star, Star Wars is universally known. Yeah, you, it's you're... universally known, but... But not universally but not, loved. But not universally sure. loved straight I, away. I, I, I get what that. What you've got to understand is, yeah... But So you're saying put, not putting a seven at the end of that changed people's minds yeah it did because i actually know people that did that okay. i have a friend called artie yeah artie likes her rom-coms and stuff and her boyfriend he's like an action movie junkie That's he's not a he's not, a, he's, not a, he's not a science sure. fiction dude at all but you know john boyega's up in there the marketing was on him and daisy ridley and the other thing was you got harrison ford in the title in a fucking film do you know how many motherfuckers out there don't even know harrison ford's in star wars a lot of people don't know Harrison Ford's in Star Wars. Mm. A lot of casual people don't. So they're like, what's Harrison Ford doing in a Star Wars movie? It's like, because that's where he began, dumbass. But you know what I mean? Like, I've grown up loving Star Wars my whole life. Who the hell are you talking about? Are you talking to like 20 year olds or no, something? No, I'm talking, I'm talking about people that are 40, people that are 70, people that are, you know what? My, my dad hasn't actually watched a Star Wars film and only just discovered Harrison Ford was in them. Okay. Okay. Well. So there are people that exist, Joe, and and Disney know this. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. They've just spent four billion on an IP, so they're trying to make as much fucking green as they can. You know what? The worst thing they did, the only thing they did wrong, they didn't crack the Chinese market. Okay, at all with Force Awakens, even though it made two billion. You know what I mean? It could have made it Avatar. Made three billion. It could have made three billion if they, if it if it, if it cracked the Chinese market, which it didn't, because in China, no one knows what Star Wars is out there. All right, that's that's fact. Okay, they never they never had the trilogy out there. You know what I mean? Certain heads did, but you know what I mean. China in this day and age has become like a global force, and you know when it comes to film, that's why they're always trying to. Go for the Chinese market and stuff. Look at the last Transformers movie. Hell, 
China saved Warcraft, for Christ's sake. But they don't know what Star Wars is. All right? Donnie Yen's in fucking Rogue One. You know what? It may not make Force Awakens money, but it might just introduce them to Star Wars. And because it being set where it is set, that opens up like, wow, there's more of these films? Okay, so this is Rogue One. These are the plans. That links with this film. Da, da, da. Oh, I'm on track. I've seen that. And Seven. Okay, what's happening after Seven? It's a weird way because of how they've done stuff. And I do agree with you. It's weird. It's not consistent with what George Lucas did with the prequels. But you've got to understand, George Lucas invented mass marketing. You've got Four, Five, and Six that never had Episode Four, Five, and Six. Okay, when they first came out, they were actually called just Star Wars. The Empire Strikes Back, The Return of the Jedi. They were never marketed as Episode 5 or Episode 6. They were just marketed as Empire, Jedi, Star Wars, done. You I'm know what not, I mean? I'm not, I'm but not, what I'm, I'm not. trying to say is, when The Fat Menace came out, it was never Star Wars The Fat Menace. It was Star Wars Episode 1, so that the mass audience would be like, okay, this is a new trilogy, this is where it begins. Is this a new thing? Does that make sense? I mean, like, you put Episode 7 on there... People are just going to, you know, casual people are just going to be like, well, I'm not going to check it out. One of my managers at work, she's a cinema manager. She's never seen a Star Wars film till number seven. She's she a took, cinema manager. And she took all her friends to see it <laughs> because she loved it. You know what I mean? And now... No, I want to get you like a so, breath or something. So, I mean, I like... I mean, like, from a marketing... <laughs> I've just been sitting here I'm just listening saying, to it and like, I'm wow. just saying, from a marketing standpoint, that was brilliant in terms of episode seven. In terms of Rogue One... Yeah, it's confusing. And I think the dumbest thing they did was not call it Star Wars Anthology. I don't think that would have made a difference. Oh, I think it would have, because Anthology kind of says that it's something different. Uh, they're right? calling it a Star Wars story and Anthology. Is oh, not have you ever read a difference. book where they have an anthology section of the What's book? What's that called? Don't, That's the point. Is don't, that, don't insult that, me. No, but I'm just saying... <laughs> oh, no, I'm not insulting you. I'm just saying, as an example, in a book, it's got, like, you know, like an anthology bit or an index bit etc people read that and go okay so this is like an offshoot thing because it says star wars side story or whatever you know what i mean but the way they did it just rogue one and then a star wars story with all the iconic shit you know what i mean the marketing's not working for this film and they know this so they're managing expectations bit the like poster, the, the poster looks like it was made on paint yeah it does it does it totally does <laughs> i was like it just, I just look at it and I'm like, I get that, you just, that it takes place in like a tropical place. Yeah. But uh, put some grey in there. Go, yeah. Go, go <laughs> gears of war on it. Yeah. Why does it, why does it fucking look like my kid? Oh, man. The it thing looks, is, I swear yeah. to God, right, when I was trying to find a picture for it, I just yeah. like, because I hadn't seen it. I was trying to find a picture of what it looked like. Mm -hmm. And every picture that came up looked like it was a fake picture. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, I was yeah. like, hey, da, da, I'll keep getting these fake pictures. And then I was like, no, this is the real picture. It just looks like a, some, a child did it. Yeah. In paint. Yeah. And I was like, you know, you sent me like, I could do that with my phone for fuck's sake. I mean, <laughs> like, I could take a picture and then add that in the background on my phone. It doesn't look that impressive. Yeah. And I, I'm kind of like, I get what you did there. But maybe throw some Gears of War shit on there. And make I it hear it. what you're saying about Gears of War because that's the vibe they're going for. And, yeah, and you well, know what? It, yeah, I well. don't. I don't know a lot about Rogue One, so I don't really watch well, the Star Wars. You stuff, don't really but. need to, but like this, you, this is a standalone thing. But you know what? I'm. I'm. I. I you just nailed it on the head there. Cool. Oh, well, that uh, bombshell. Let's move on. Yeah. 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 Well, okay. So. Well, I just there's one thing I wanted to get across it with with that. Um, yeah, we. I I, could, I see them going through more problems after this film, <laughs> because be, purely because. If you if you're gonna keep calling it a Star Wars story. And having different subtitles because a Star Wars story is in a small font there, just like there, just Star Wars story, and it's got a big title there. Yeah. It's it's. I don't think that's gonna. It's not gonna change anything. It's gonna, just gonna confuse people even more. I don't know what the next uh, episode of the saga is called, but if it's if they just keep the title, it's gonna. So what's this? Is this 
after that? Yeah, or yeah. Well, to the layman, it would it will confuse. Yeah, and this is um, what I mean. Yeah, just put the episode number back. And the thing is, I don't really want me. Like, I'm probably the the perfect demographic for you t- for your argument here because whilst I've seen all the Star Wars films, I don't watch the extended universe stuff mm. like Sasha does. So when you're like Rogue One, I have no fucking clue about what you're talking about. Mm. So it makes sense for you to make something similar, yeah. like and I wouldn't know any different if I didn't have such people like Sacha <laughs> or Ken around to mm. confirm and correct me when I ask these questions, um, or you know, <laughs> the internet, because um, <laughs> I don't have that access to that around my hands at all times. But do you get what I'm saying? Like yeah. I, I'd be like, oh, what's this Rogue One shit about? I don't fucking know, and. You know, just because I can look for it doesn't mean I'm going to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, But if it comes up in passing conversation, Satch might say, hey, did you see Rogue One? I'll say, yeah, I saw it, but I have no fucking clue what it's about. And then he will educate me. And I'll go, oh, okay, I understand now. It's two separate entities that exist in the same universe at different times. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Um, But yeah, your your point makes sense. But to the layman, I can totally see why it would confuse people. And I I saw this... Last year, okay, they're gonna run into problems with this. Yeah, they're gonna run into problems with I this. I must say, their marketing has been quite shit. Yeah, it's been poor. Especially, you know what? Now they should be ramming it up like in full. When did you come out? That. It comes out December sixteenth. Oh, it's a Christmas. So Christmas. they should, you know, they should have been like a lot more to show. To be quite honest, than what they have shown. I, but, I, I yeah. know, I know, I really shouldn't um, like cut us off, but I really want to talk about what we're going to talk about right now. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. want to move on from yeah. Star Wars. I want to talk about this. Is I think this is the pinnacle of the entire podcast. <laughs> <laughs> Let's be honest here. Okay. I'm gonna be uh, if it's what I think it is. You that, know what it is. Is it do 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 do? No. no? What are you talking about? He's talking about the dragon. I thought you talking about uh, Power Rangers. Do you know what the sad thing was? Is that I know what that was. What Power Rangers? Yeah, the fucking Dragon Zord. Dragon yeah. Zord. Um, oh, no, wait, no, wait. dude, fucking Keanu. Oh, we're talking about John Wick too. Yeah. Oh man, is that right? We're talking yeah, we're talking about John Wick too. I can't oh, bulletproof. Fucking oh, wait for this movie. Oh yeah, of course, man. This film is badass, and you know the best thing is, I re- can you confirm is Eva Longoria still a producer in this movie? I, I, I believe so. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Someone got a desperate housewife to fund the badass action film that is John Wick. <laughs> I, honestly, I, that still blows my mind. Uh, I know you already knew this, Sacha. Yeah. It was the, I know everything about this. Actually, movies. I didn't know that she... Actually, I did, I did. but I, I forgot. I mentioned it, yeah. and you forgot. I and forgot. you were like, come on, dude, it's old news. I was like, I didn't know. Might be old news to you, but yeah, not to yeah. me. Well, you refresh my memory. Because it's, so, it's two completely conflicting. Like You yeah. just never think Eva Longoria, John Wick. Like yeah. You wouldn't put them both in the same Unless sentence. she was actually in it. But, yeah. yeah, but even then, I wouldn't even cast her in that fucking movie. Yeah. I think who they cast in that film was great as the female yeah. like, female lead, but whoever the, the, the yeah. female assassin was. But um, yeah, I'm uh, down for this fucking movie, man. Yeah, I, I'm just, just looking at the poster, that's... Just having seen the previous film. That's, <laughs> it's, it's badass, man. And I can't even see the whole picture. <laughs> I've always thought that Keanu Reeves walks funny. He's, he does have a walk. He's, He's got, got like that a kind weird, of... weird, like, walk. And I think it's very prevalent when you see him in uh, Man of Tai Chi. Oh, really? Yeah, when you see him do... Like, he, when he just sort of, like, rocks in out of nowhere near the end of that film in Man of Tai Chi. And you're like, oh, okay. Keanu Reeves <laughs> here to fuck this Chinese dude up. <laughs> um, and he is Chinese. That's not me being racist. Um, <laughs> just FYI, he actually is Chinese. Um... Because he was actually the guy in that movie, the main character in Man of Tai Chi, mm-hmm. is in uh, Matrix The Matrix Reloaded. Reloaded, that's right, yeah. He plays one of the Merovingians yeah, dudes. Yeah, that's right, yeah. I can't believe I remember with that French I, 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 I remember as well. But that's, it's, Merovingian is such a... I love he's that name. He's a badass character. I love he's that name. He's a character. He, the best thing is, you know when he swears in... He's like, I love swearing in French. It's like wiping your ass with <laughs> silk. Yeah. <laughs> yes! What an amazing guy! And then he's banging like Monica Bellucci. Yeah. Like, and yeah. he gives that chicken orgasm by eating a cake. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's yeah, yeah. like a badass character. It's brilliant, man. Um, yeah, I mean, look. John Wick 2, I'm going to ring it back. John Wick 2, it's going to be a good fucking time. Um, you, we're going to know more about that hotel. Oh, yeah, yeah. Good. So the what the producer said, is, uh, or the director said, um, that you're going, there's going to be sp- some more time at a hotel. It's set, it's set in multiple countries instead of, um, I think it was Chicago, was it? Is that before? Or well, New York? Man, someone marked his dog. 
You know, he yeah. just got pissed and he was wow. That now is like he's back. The simplest like format to a film, like okay, Keanu, we need you. Don't need you. Don't need to act a lot. Oh, it's, it's it's a kind of it's, <laughs> it's, it's okay. a kind of, it's a kind of a similar. Do you know what Arnold Schwarzenegger is good as the T one thousand, the T uh, T eight hundred? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and it's it's like no, you can't. He, no one else will do a better job than um, Arnold Schwarzenegger at doing that. It's like he's found that he's character of himself. Yeah. I mean, the thing is, he is actually, like, he is a good actor if you watch him in certain, like, only in certain roles. Like, I rewatched Point Break recently. Oh, right, right, right. I love that fucking movie. I yeah. think he's great in that film. And I think, you know, coupled with... Um, Swayze. Wait, Swayze. Mm-hmm. How can I forget? You ghosted Cu- him, man. I ghosted him. Are you ghosted him? Ghosted Swayze? Coupled with Swayze, <laughs> I think he is fantastic in that movie. Like, I think Swayze steals it because it's fucking Swayze. Yeah. yeah. But he is great in that movie. Um... He is a good actor, um, but he's he's not an actor's actor. Do you get what I'm saying? He's not fucking. Anthony he's a great Hopkins. movie star. Yeah, he he's has a movie presence. Star, yeah, he has presence. And he's had like the saddest life. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the saddest life. Um, like you know, I think it all started when like he's friends with River Phoenix, and River Phoenix overdosed. In yeah, the and he died. Room. Yeah, yeah. And then like from then on, like his girlfriend died, and like and his girlfriend was pregnant at the oh, time. Oh well, yeah, his yeah. pregnant girlfriend died, and then he had like a. Um, his mother died. Then his mum died, uh, and then his, uh, sister, his got leukemia. sister got leukemia. Yeah. yeah, and then like he, he was just. I guess he was like, "Fuck, it, I'm gonna go eat a sandwich in the park on my own." And yeah, like, that's what that that sad side piano. piano. Yeah. yeah, you know he like often takes the train like on his own. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. loads of pictures on like Reddit and shit of just like just Keanu Reeves just sitting on a train on his way to doing whatever Keanu Reeves does when he's not making films. I don't, I don't, what the fuck do you think he does? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? Like, if you're like, okay, I'm Keanu Reeves. Uh, I'm, I'm a multi-millionaire I've given away like half my fortune to charities mm-hmm. but I'm still a millionaire right mm-hmm. I have this like I think he's got like a one bedroom apartment yeah yeah he's, 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 he's not ex- he's not ex- extra- extravagant yeah he's he like, keeps he's, himself very basic because yeah. he said I don't need yeah I don't anymore. need these belongings I've got very basic things and so like, I'm sure those basic things cost more than my entire apartment but like, this is like yeah I've got a pair of headphones yeah they're very very good headphones uh, they cost five million pounds. <laughs> <laughs> like I can hear space. I can hear the aliens having sex on the moon with these headphones. Um, but yeah, you know, and a record player, vinyl, whatever. Um, but you get what I'm saying? Like he's probably very minimalistic, but it's very expensive. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like how you imagine Moby would live. <laughs> As in, like for people who don't know who Moby is, the the, the DJ. If you've ever seen a Bourne film, you hear his music right at the end. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I can imagine. Well, I know Moby lives very basically because I saw his house on Cribs. Um, oh right. Yeah, it's very basic, but it's cool. Anyway, what the fuck else do you think Keanu Reeves does? Like, you know, I because he just you don't he doesn't look like he has a purpose when he's not working. He just sort of goes out in the world. And eat sandwiches, get to the train so people can see him, like, so people can say, I saw Keanu Reeves today, and then move on. Like, I know, kind I of know. like Jeremy Corbyn. <laughs> like, well, you no. see him on the bus, and you're like, yeah, oh, it's Jeremy Corbyn. But if you see him in interviews, he's just like a normal, but he doesn't see himself as special in any way. And that's what, whenever when anyone rips on him, I always defend him. I said, look, he might not be the best actor, but he's done more for. Uh, a lot of people than you will ever do in your miserable little life you can <laughs> and, <laughs> and, <laughs> you just went dark side there man it's what the fuck guy. happened it's there true. it is true you are right but fucking hell bro like that was you know the thing is that was like specificity they came out with like somebody obviously has like recently bad mouth Keanu Reeves and you didn't say that cause you, to somebody because you're too polite I know you but <laughs> You, 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 in your head, you're like, you've done fucking more for people than you'll ever do. You, in your pathetic <laughs> life, you can't. <laughs> Fuck. Um, you, you've not seen Joe lay the smack down on people? No, no, but uh, luckily I've never been at the receiving end of Joe's uh, smack of downing. Oh, okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, look. You never gonna, go for retard. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna reel it back in on mm. the uh, on on the John Wick. Obviously, you guys do what you want, but I, me personally, I'm down for it. I I want to check it out. The the the, the poster looks badass. The suit looks badass. Mm. He looks badass in it. Um, yeah, it's gonna and, be a good film. Uh, the fact that we've got a poster so soon means that we're gonna get a trailer either in the next few weeks. Uh, I want to know what makes him back come back though, like back back, like because you know he was like people keep asking me in my back. I'm gonna say I'm back. Yeah. Like, I love that scene. Yeah, it's like that. okay, he's like I'm guessing I'm back. I'm gonna yeah. tell, I'm gonna tell you his dog. I'm gonna right. tell you something though. 
his performance in the Neon Demon stole the show from uh, me. I gotta check that out at one point because he's it. so different in it. He's like he's an asshole in the film, and I'm like he's playing an asshole. <laughs> like, he's an, an asshole in Man of Tai Chi. Yeah, but like I've never, I would say he's yeah, it's a different kind of asshole, man. Okay. Different kind of asshole. Um, but yeah, no, um, Neon Demon, check it out, especially for his cameo, but it's a great movie anyway, so yeah. Yeah, but yeah, uh, this is coming out um, at the beginning of the next year, so the 2nd of... Um, January? Uh, no, uh, February, February 10th. Feb, just in time for Valentine's Day. Yeah, yeah that's brilliant. Excellent. <laughs> yeah, I can't Drag wait for this one. your girlfriends to go see that, or boyfriends, whatever you're into. <laughs> <laughs> or if you're a woman <laughs> you know like okay so um, on to the next topic and it's the Scarface remake and um, uh, this is again Anton Fuqua uh, 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 Anton Fuqua I'm still scared Anton Fuqua they, they, sh- they, sh- they shouldn't touch it well the way Anton you know why you know why because the first one's not that even that great it's a remake of an original anyway yeah, um, yeah. like that's a, another remake it's a remake of a remake um, look, man, they've this obviously a got a good director on it, which is great. That, that, that's um, the if thing. If you're going to do it, do it right. Yeah. Um, like, it, it, yeah it looks like it's going that way. Yeah. And but then, why even do it? Like, this is what's pissing me off about Hollywood. Like, stop remaking shit. Start being original again. But didn't like, you just say you like the Equalizer? Yeah, but I didn't know that was a remake. Everything's a remake. No, I don't think but I didn't know. You ever like, see The Mechanic? Uh, I hated that. Film. Oh, you hate that? Okay, yeah, fair enough. Yeah, shit compared to the original. Um, yeah. I, I just, I, I don't even want to watch the second one. Like, I yeah. just, if anything, it's the only reason I watched Into the Blue was to see Jessica Alba pretty much naked, like half naked <laughs> in that film. It's the only reason I watched this film. But um, yeah, I mean, like Scarface is a remake of a remake. Now it's a remake, remake of a remake. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't like. Just leave it alone, man. Just leave it alone. You know. Like, unless you're going to fucking do some, like, ILM magic to um, Pacino's face, like they did in Tron Legacy. Yeah, they're not going to do that. Then I don't want to know. Who the fuck could play Pacino better than Pacino? They'll find, they'll do something. Yeah, but do you, like, this is a genuine question. Who do you think could out Pacino Pacino? That's like saying, uh, (laughs) no, no one. I don't think anyone can. Daniel Day-Lewis. No. Yeah, Daniel maybe. Day-Lewis, you don't yes. know that. Daniel Day Lewis would yes. be Daniel Day Lewis. No, yeah, like, who is fucking <laughs> amazing. And but everything. you can't, but I don't think, yeah, no, absolutely. You're, you're completely, nuts. I completely agree with you. I completely He's I'm a not, better actor than out of Pacino, bro. Mm. Uh, I, 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 Pacino, Pacino used to be great. I'm Same with De Niro. With you, but but you've got to understand. You've got to understand. Now he's, <laughs> now he's Mr. Shouty Man. He got typecast in the 90s and then. They do it for his Oscar bait moment where he's like, woo-ha, you know, just like that whole thing at the end. And that's the problem. You can't bring, you can't, you can't rip fucking um, Last of the Mohican motherfucker. You can't. Because he's different. To. I completely agree with you. I think Daniel Day-Lewis is a great fucking actor. Yeah. He's an amazing actor. He is an amazing actor. But. He would be in a but, remake though. But, but, but. <laughs> But. I don't think he can out Pacino Pacino. He, he might try yeah. to out Pacino Pacino by doing a Daniel Day-Lewis. I, I, I reckon if he's, if Daniel Day-Lewis spent a week with Pacino, he'll do it. Yeah. I, yeah, but you I, know I my problem so is too. Daniel Day-Lewis isn't Cuban. So but, like, but that's this, where it falls. But this is Al Pacino. Yeah, but he's closer. <laughs> and plus, he's, he's closer. Browner. But, but... Well, well, you, was, you could also say but Day-Lewis also, played in the But American also, Indian, Scarface, so. oh, Scarface yeah. doesn't have to be... Um, yeah, no, you're right. It doesn't. doesn't. It Absolutely. doesn't. Because right. the original, the original 1930s film, he, wa- he, wa- he wasn't an ethnic. You know what I mean? So, he wasn't a what? He wasn't an ethnic. <laughs> he wasn't an ethnic. An you know? ethnic. He wasn't an ethnic. An ethnic. So, Amazing. You know. Anyway. He could, like, well, look, this, see... this, this Scarface could be a triad guy. I tell you what, do you know, do you know who... <laughs> Do you know and I'd watch that if you put in Jackie Chan or Jet Li or... I tell you what, I, who there. I would like to see play Scarface who? if they did it and they weren't going ethnic with it. What would we do? Um, if they were just going like generic. Oh, okay, yeah. Right? Um, this is left field. The guy right. who played Rorschach. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Um, I don't Gosh, know his name. I his name. Yeah, I know the guy you're on about. He was in Robocop. Yeah. And was Freddy Krueger. Yeah, he was in Freddy Krueger and okay. Robocop. Ro- oh, he's in, the, uh, he's in the, the Preacher as well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he is, yeah. He's in Preacher. Him. Right. 
I'd like to see, I would have liked to have seen, he probably needed to be a bit younger. Yeah. I would have liked to have seen him yeah. be... Be Scarface. a version of Scarface. Yeah, be a Tony Montana. I reckon, because you see the scene when, yeah, the reason I say that, in Watchmen, when he's like, I'm not locked in here with you, you're locked in, in here, here with, with me. me. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That delivery of that line yeah, yeah, yeah. makes me be like, that could be Scarface. <laughs> that okay, yeah, that yeah. attitude where he's like, where, you know, when he's just like, I don't give a yeah. fuck. It's just, like, it's just nothing on his face. Yeah. So. Like, correct me if I'm wrong, but like, he fucks his sister or tries to fuck his sister or kisses his sister in that film. No. No? I no. don't know why I thought that would happen. <laughs> He sees his, something happening to his mother and he couldn't stop it. And um, No, no, I'm it, talking about Scarface. Oh, Scarface. Oh, I don't know. I, I don't remember that. Like, there's some like weird thing where he tries to kiss his sister at the end of Scarface. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he right. does, yeah. Right? doesn't he? Yeah. Like, I don't remember that at all. Yeah, 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 I don't know, man. Whatever. You know what? The thing is, you still can't replace Michelle Pfeiffer's like, <laughs> in that film. <laughs> well, yeah. it looks like um, whoever's um, um, the studio behind this one is definitely going to try. So, They're gonna, if it's Antoine Fuqua, it's going to be somehow LA related. It'll, it'll, be, Den- it'll be Denzel. It'll be Denzel. No, it, won't Denzel. Be, it won't be Denzel. No, because they've already done Denzel, American Gangster. He already man. said that the guy's going to be Mexican. So, oh, is it? Yeah. So, oh, so I don't he, know, man. So that's too Mexican, close. If he picks Mexican, how's that, how's that too close? If he because picks it's Mexican, too much. He'll either go, yeah. he'll go, he'll go Michael Pena as a left field. Right, <laughs> Eddie Cabral. Maybe you never know. Eddie Cabral, who is the dude who is in End of Watch. Yeah. Do you know who he could pick? The fucking dude in End of Watch, big the uh, big evil. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That dude, the the main bad guy yeah. in End of Watch. He could probably pick that dude. He could pull that off. Or <clears throat> who's the um, who's the dude in um, again Training Day? The head Joker, the the, the head gangster. Oh, that guy. The guy with the moustache, he's also in uh, yeah. Live Through the Heart. Yeah, I know the guy. Yeah, him, yeah. that dude. You know, if, yeah. it's, uh, if it's picking like a Mexican or Mexican-looking actor, he can go down various roads. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, there, are, there are many competent Mexican actors, but he might go unknown. I reckon he'll get... Who's the guy in um, episode seven? The guy who flies the uh, X-Wing? Oscar Isaacs. Yeah. Oscar Isaacs. Oscar Isaacs. Isaac. That'd be good. Oscar Isaacs. I reckon he's yeah, that if it's Oscar Isaacs. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. I'm Have you ever that. seen him in Most Violent Yeah? Mm-hmm. Fucking I haven't seen him in that, but I've seen him in uh yeah. I saw him in um Fuck. Ex Machina. Yeah. 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 Oh like, god. Well that, you know what? It's really funny. Movie. What's really funny? I saw Most Violent Yeah and Ex Machina at the Machina. same Machina. on the set Machina. We say it like yeah. set, Makina, Makina. <laughs> anyway, I saw them both the same day, one after each other, not knowing that Oscar Isaac was, was in both. both yeah. And like I I saw that science fiction one first, yeah. Um <laughs> <laughs> Say it with me, Sat. No. X Makina. Makina. Oh my god. <laughs> Don't put pause the Makina. It's Machina. Machina. There you go. That'll do. That's, okay. that's really good. Anyway, I saw that flick first, and then I saw the most violent. Yeah, and I'm looking at it because in that sci fi one. Oh, <laughs> yeah, go on. He's a bit of a more tubbier kind of gentleman. He's got a grizzly beard, glasses. Most violent. Yeah, he's slim, trim. Almost Al Pacino looking in that film. See, in, uh, uh, he's also in Sucker Punch. What? Yeah. He's in Sucker Punch yeah, as well. Yeah, he plays the. Uh, like the lead warden. In oh, Sucker okay. Punch, I haven't seen that film since the cinema. So. Yeah, I liked it. Man, people hate it, but anyway, oh, it had no story. We want to see. We want nice to see. Visuals, yeah. So yeah, we're gonna get a Scarface with a Mexican contestant. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. On to the next topic: DC films. Okay. So, uh, Warner Chief, a uh, CEO Chief. Um, oh, senior. Uh, I just screwed up so badly there. Uh, just, just Warner CEO up, Jeff Brewer said that um, Brookers even says that. DC have room to for improvement, which is, duh. <laughs> what, do you mean, what does he mean by DC have room? But DC plan on improving? I think yeah. that's what he yeah, means. We, we need to see a lot of improvement. Yeah, and, and that's what I would. I was like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Well, I think we could just like move move on from this one quick quickly by just go yeah duh. <laughs> Next subject because I, but, we do. But, like, before before we move, on, I, I expected this to be short anyway, but. Um, 
the fact that okay, so they've got two films coming out next year, which is uh, Wonder Woman and Justice Aquaman. Uh, Aquaman, yeah, it's Aquaman. Aquaman next year. No, no, it's not. It's not. Um, th- I know there's two the Justice films League. Out. Justice, Justice League. League. Yeah. Okay, Justice so League next year. I think, I think so, so. Yeah, it's two years from now. No, no, I think it's next year. No, I think it's next year because they got the they got the yeah. Double check it, but they got the shit out. They got the trailer out. Yeah, so. but that was just a teaser for Comic Con. That's not an official trailer playing in the movie theater. Um, yeah, I think next it's year. T- next year, two thousand seventeen. Wow, well, I uh, think I'm ready for that film yet because it looks fucking shit. Um, I dig the trailer for Justice League and. I'm, I'm not too bothered it's about so Wonder Woman. Like I like I like her as Wonder Woman. I'm sure it'll be different and stuff. But that's the it's, only thing I'm looking for. <laughs> my problem with these two movies is that they are under the old fucking regime, mm. so it's kind of like a gamble. Suicide Squad, in my opinion, got away with that because I think the director had a lot of influence on that movie. It's David, David Ayer. Ayer. and it's David fucking Ayer. But um, who's directed Wonder Woman? Um, I can't remember what her name is. It's uh, a woman. Okay. Well, you know, depending on what she does with that IP and what she's given, we'll Patty Jenkins. Patty Jenkins. Oh, okay, she's she's a great she's a good director, but I mean, you know, how much input she puts into oh, it compared yeah, to what she, she is. She <laughs> she's is damn yeah, good. I know she is. Yeah, Monster uh, is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Monster's fucking badass. So, depending on what Patty Jenkins does with Wonder Woman, it could potentially be great. But then. It's under the old regime. I stress that because Bats and Soups was that bad. Um, we'll we'll have to see. It's a, you know I've got no confidence until Ben Affleck's Batman. I'm sorry because at least with Ben Affleck's Batman, first thing he did was just like, you need comic book writers writing comic book movies. I'm getting Jeff motherfucking Jones, and it's like it was like no you can't do that that's unheard of I'm pretty sure the conversation kind of went like this oh really well I'm Ben Affleck and I'm Batman I'm getting whoever no, the it fuck went, I it want went, no, it went like this it, was, <laughs> it went like this so okay alright so he's not I can't hit no you can't get him. he's your second choice of Batman yeah exactly <laughs> and, <he> went, <laughs> uh, and they were like uh, he goes cool and he just turned around so we're getting Jeff yeah, yeah. <laughs> come on Jeff and Jeff is like right right let's do this um, so they got uh, so yeah. I mean that's, that um so do you, do you not think I would have thought he'd have gone like Kevin Smith no no Kevin Smith's a comic book writer he, 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 yeah, he right? is he is but like you know Smith and is, Daredevil and Daredevil and and a few others Green Lantern yeah, yeah and Green Arrow yeah and The Flash oh wait he's directing The Flash anyway so you know is he directing the, the TV, TV show? show well he did he yeah. did one episode which he'll be good really man good. I'm, oh, do you know what he will be good yeah if he like stops being weird what Tusk man what? Tusk was awesome oh, no, the, 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 there's, 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 real fi- there's three films he's doing that are his own personal projects that, Yogi Hoses Tusk and and um, uh, Moose Jewels is, is, is the last one that he's Moose doing Jules, what, yeah. what happened to uh, the handbag one what handbag one Look it up. Anyway, yeah. um, is that, there's only three that he's doing. No, that that was Tusk. Um, another one. Dude, no, I there's only three. He said it's a trilogy. I okay. couldn't do it. I could. I watched it and I was so confused. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, that's kind of the point. If, yeah, but it, I was just kind of like, this was what the once promising director that was Kevin Smith, um, who had the opportunity, who made films like you know Cop Out. Which I loved. He didn't. Oh, he didn't, didn't write like that. that. I know, but I loved it. Okay. I loved it. I loved uh, cop out. You know what I hated about cop movie. out was that it was a cop out. No, it was <laughs> a cop out. It should be called a couple of dicks. But no, what I hated about it was probably was definitely this. I felt the chemistry wasn't there between because blatantly Bruce was bored, and I felt that from Bruce. Mm-hmm. All right, you know, and the other thing was, yes, yeah, a Kevin Smith movie. Okay. It's because it's a Kevin Smith movie, which is why I'm like, Ugh. because had his, had he not been credited or whatnot, I probably would have taken it at face value as some, okay, it's an average kind of fucking baseball cardy kind of movie. But because it's a Kevin Smith movie and because he didn't write it, um, the writers that wrote it, they, you know, they're fans of his. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So it just felt like 
people try to write like Kevin Smith. But, but not being, not Kevin, being Smith. Kevin Smith. Yeah, well, so when Kevin just Smith writes shit now, apparently yeah. he makes people no, no. turn into walruses. I, hey, I, I disagree. Hey, I disagree. I, you know what? You know dude. what? You know what? I, I, I love that film. I want to see yoga hoses. Yoga hoses. I want so you'll watch, probably hate it as much as the first one. Do you know what? I probably won't because I hated Tusk. No, no, you'll hate this one. Did you like Red State? I loved it. Yeah, so he wrote that as well. I know. Uh, but but this is what I mean. The the film the three films that he's doing are his passion projects. Yeah. Something that he needs to get out because he's still doing Clerks Three. He's still doing um, what's more the other rats. one? More more rats. More rats. rats. Helena's handbag. No, no, he's not doing that. Oh, is he? No, oh. that's gone. Is um, that gone? Yeah, I need to catch up on these podcasts. It's, it's just three films. Um, oh, okay. Um, the um, oh God, I want Clerks Three now. He's 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 still doing the hockey film. That he, somebody, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, he's still doing that. He, there's a lot of yeah. Now, now that he's got all of those opportunities, he's, 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 even, he's even doing an Amazon show. Um, a Happy Ho- is it Happy? Not Happy Hogan. Um, crap, I can't remember. Look, he's, he's, there's yeah, a lot he's that he's doing. Lot. Oh my God! Speaking of Amazon show, sorry, we're gonna move off Kevin Smith very very briefly. John Glover Van Dam has a show on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, remember you were here a few yeah. weeks ago, and I was showing it to him. Johnson. Yeah. Amazing. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it will get picked up. Yeah, hopefully get picked it. up. Um, apparently MacGyver. Well, yeah, MacGyver did really well. Really well. Ten point nine million people followed, and then the Lethal Weapon. Seven point nine million people tuned in to watch Lethal Weapon. Well, I haven't seen MacGyver, but I've seen Lethal Weapon and it's shit. Was it the, the first yeah, episode was shit? I didn't think it was all that. Uh, well, I wasn't gonna. I watch like it, the guy. MacGyver I like the guy. I like the guy that's Riggs. The guy that's Murto. You could be mistaken for thinking that this is a TV show, but oh, sorry, it's no. a film Tangents. podcast. Let's stay on target. What were we anyway, talking about again, Joe? <laughs> we were talking about Kevin Smith, but really should have been talking about uh, DC films. DC uh, films. Well, DC films. DC. Uh, you suck. Event- eventually, he'll probably direct a film because he's doing a lot of stuff he's look, doing a lot of DC properties he on TV he might do a Superman movie again so. I'm done with Superman, Superman again he might, he might do another Superman movie where I'm done I'm done with I'm done with Man of Steel because he, he no no dude 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 Kevin Smith might do a Superman movie man that's <laughs> what we're trying to say and for the people who haven't it heard would never the John happen. Peters crazy story but he of, still owns the rights so he's not uh, going nowhere John Peters still owns the rights so Does he still own it? Yeah. Yeah, he Fuck. always owns it. Did you not see? Did you not see the Superman's fucking yeah. guards in fucking Batman and Superman? Okay. Man's name We're done with this film. Let's stop. We're done. Okay, on from uh, DC <laughs> films onto Power Rangers. And uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, posters that were shown online. Um, I'm probably the foremost expert on Power Rangers in this room right now, <laughs> yeah. which is not good. Um, <laughs> um, okay, I'm going to leave this. Uh, to you guys. Um, so Bill Hader is Alpha. Has been cast as Alpha Five. Ah <laughs> yeah 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 yeah. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's it. Aye, aye, aye. All right. So apparently Bill Hader is going to be Mexican. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I never know. I never noticed that comparison. Jesus, you're, you're welcome. Uh, right. Okay. So um, I can't even find where these posters are. Don't um, worry about it. They're shit anyway. That's so it's but, basically but, like them sitting on the corner what, of the Zordon or whatever. Zordon, yeah. No, don't get confused with Zordon. Oh, Zordon is Zords. Brian Cranston. Is it Zords? What are, what are those? What are those Zords, yeah, Zords. Zords, yeah, okay, yeah. They're Zords. Um, okay, and, so, got, so um, basically they're all sitting on like appendages or corners of the Zords. Mm. And I tell you what, I'm not convinced. <laughs> I'm really not convinced. I'm concerned about where this this project is. Like, the, you know, like they got these, they got these, they got Elizabeth Banks, they got Bill Hader, they got Brian Cranston, they got is Brian Cran- Brian Cranston's in this, right? Yeah, yeah he's so Zordon. Brian Cranston, he's Zordon, right? Okay. Um, they got an unknown cast of teenagers with attitude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I'm just like. So Super concerned about how this is gonna work out. Like, what kind of movie is this build to be? Is this like because it's it can only go. go one of two ways, right? Well, Elizabeth Banks in there. <clears throat> yeah, but hold on. So this 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 movie will want to go. I uh, have one of two ways because you know what started off this movie was the 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 Ultraman. Unofficial... No, so what started off the the, the point of remaking uh, uh, Oh, Oscar that movie. little short that they yeah, did on with, yeah. they did with um with uh, it, um, Dawson the Daw- the Dawson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. James Van Der Beek. James Van Der Beek, yeah. Oh, yeah, um, he was like Billy. 
Yeah. yeah. I don't know what he was, but he yeah. was he was in it. And um yeah, basically that spawned off everyone being like, Wow, this is really good. You should totally make a reboot of Power Rangers. And now they're making a reboot. <laughs> but they're not making what we saw in that, which is a gritty hardcore reboot, which is what you want to see. What you're seeing is basically it's going to be one of two things. Either it's going to be that, which is the gritty hard, hardcore reboot, mm-hmm. or it's going to be a film that is super high tech that panders to children. It cannot be both. You cannot, they, there is no existence for an in between. Mm-hmm. Because yeah. you cannot advertise to children at such a young age while still having a, um, a hardcore storyline like that, this does not hold the weight of a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles franchise. Um, whilst it is ongoing, it's very long, and it's been going on for years, they don't, I'm sure they don't have nowhere near the budget of TMNT, mm. um, and I'm sure that they know, have nowhere near the, um, the caliber of, well, you know, I say caliber loosely here, but of director, producers, involved in this project mm. I could be wrong but yeah. there's a lot of unknowns going on and like yeah they're throwing out they got Elizabeth Banks Brian Cranston let's be honest here Bryce Cranston is the top billed actor on this probably getting paid more than everybody else yeah he's the top billed there yeah. you go then, so Elizabeth, Elizabeth Banks is next yeah, yeah. All right. and then Bill Hader yeah. is the third right okay Did anyone else of, the, of any yeah. value there that you can realise as an actor like oh this person I know this person I know no not right. at all so we've got three billed names who, let's be honest, aren't that big, right? So you're relying on three decent actors who are, if you look at it, Zordon will have minimal interaction with Elizabeth Banks. Um, he'll have more interaction with Bill Hader because mm-hmm. <coughs> he's alpha. There'll be no contact between those three actors, really, in the same room where you'll they'll bounce off each other or anything. Right. I, have, I have really low hopes for this movie um, because it, it, they haven't made it clear. And so I see a trailer... And I understand, like, oh, this film is going to be, like, either this or this. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, it's either going to be a childish movie or it's going to be a very serious movie. Um, and Project then I, Almanac. Uh, so I'm just looking at the director of... So, yeah, Project, Project Almanac was apparently was supposedly quite a good film. I haven't seen it. Um, but it was, it was apparently a pretty good film. Mm-hmm. Who knows? Who knows where this is going? I have no idea. the The other issue that we're going to have is Ooh. is how is the how are they going to edit the trailer? Because if you remember uh, Lady in the Water, mm. <laughs> yeah, right, unfortunately okay. I do. Right. Okay. So the reason a lot of people hate that movie is because the trailer makes it look like a horror film. Yeah, it does. It really does. It really does. When that it's a bedtime story for children. That's <sighs> why it says it in the fucking title. A bedtime story for children, like Lady in the Water. It's supposed to supposed supposed to be like a quite happy, you know, magical movie. Mm. But the trailer is billed like a horror film. Yeah. And now everyone went to watch it expecting a horror film, and then got a childish movie and was really confused, and that's why it got such bad ratings. If you take it for what it is, it's actually not a bad movie. Mm. Um, same with this. Is this trailer going to be cut to show? Uh, are they going to have two types of trailers one for adults one for children um, because you, with Power Rangers you're not going to sell a lot of uh, merchandise if you can't bill it to children Yeah. so yeah. that's where they're banking their money on so it, this is the problem like it, it's it's unless they are clear on where they stand on it they're not going to either, either they're going to pander to the people who are going to be nostalgic or they're going to pander to children and you can't you can't go in between it's just not going to work yeah so it looks like it's going to go the way that you think it's going to go I think it's going to go children. Yeah. I think it's going to go children. I think at the moment there's a lot of mystique around it. But I see all of this, all these pictures you're showing me here. I think it's just going to go children. It's going to go PG-13. Um, you What you ideally want to see, you want to see... Uh, what, what What's it, PG-13? What's above PG-13? 15. 15. 15, yeah. No, no, in America. Oh, um, R. N-17. Is it N-17? N-17 is after R. Is it? Yeah. Yeah, he's right, yeah. Okay. Um, then yeah, I mean, ideally you want to see like a like like an R-rated version of this film, where there are a lot more violent uh, martial artists doing that shit. Very much like um, Pacific Rim kind of style movie. Yeah, that's what I want to see. Power Rangers. That's that, what Power but that's Rangers, not. That's but that is not exactly what, what we're saying. Not it's what not it Power Rangers, yeah. and that's not what's going to make money. So they're not going to make. Okay, money. I'm, I'm going to come from a completely opposing kind of side. Go there. for it. Go for it. I also not really looking forward to this movie, but. 
This is the thing. That short film that came out. That sucked. That I've good. never seen such a boring piece of shit in my whole life. You know what? Thing is with Power Rangers, all right? Thing is, Power Rangers has last, lasted, what, about 20 years now? It's still going on now. It's probably longer. It's than probably that. longer than 20 years, okay? Remember, we, what we yeah. got for Power Rangers was a remake of a cancelled Oh, yeah, yeah, of course, of course. That <laughs> aside, that aside, though. It's, so it's been going the, on the, longer It's been that. going long, but the thing is, Power Rangers, as a show, they know... They know who their audience are. Mm -hmm. You know, as a TV show, they know who their audience are. They tried, you know, they've already done the thing where they've done the two films that came out. At, was it three? No, yes. but two came out theatrically. Did they come out? Th I know one yeah. came out. No, 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 yeah, two, there was two. two. Yeah. There was two that actually hit cinemas. rest of them straight to DVD or whatever. But the I remember when the first one came, that was a box office smash at the time. Did really well. And it was at the height of, the Power Rangers. Fuck, it came you, out. I remember seeing that on the, the yeah. Friends, man. And it had, um, who was Ivan Von Ooze? He was some actor that was in a lot of stuff in the 80s, but I forget well, who uh, it was. Oscar Isaacs. Um, <laughs> 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 but no, <laughs> either way. All either, the, uh, apocalypse fans there. Either, either way, what, what, what I'm trying to say is when that second movie came, it tanked, but, you know, it, it fucking, because it wasn't at the height of its fever, you know what I mean? It was like, yeah, we've seen the Power Rangers movie, fuck this shit, new fad is in now, you know what I mean? That kind of thing. So we've had Power Rangers movies before. Now this, this is, you know, this isn't connected with the TV show and stuff. So what, is, you know, this is trying to become like its own thing. Um, again, it's a band behind it, so they are going to cater towards kids. But I don't see... Because of the IP... It's and actually Lionsgate is, that's behind it. Is it Lionsgate? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's even worse because, like he said before, they're going to do they're gonna do this one on the cheap because we know Lionsgate don't like to spend that much money on their films anyway. Well, Lionsgate's owned by Warner Brothers now, so you don't know. So maybe. maybe not. Maybe not. I mean, like, you know what? Like, um... I... Who knows? Who knows? I mean, like, it, it's going to be a 12A. I could, I could dig that. But... If you go too serious with Power Rangers, you lose the essence of what the show was. Do you know what I mean? And that's why I hated the short. The short was just some boring fan jizzing in his face. It was just too much of a fan movie. Sometimes it's kind of like, I don't know, I just, I just felt the fan movie missed the mark. And this one, well, who's it aimed at, really? You know what I mean? No one wants to see a Power Rangers movie, really. You know what I mean? But I don't. But exactly. That's, no, no, that's but, just me. No, no, but I'm I know that's person. just you. But the thing is, the point of doing this kind of thing is to attract people to an IP that's never seen it before. Look at the Transformers. Okay, we grew up on Transformers, but there's a lot of people that never grew up on Transformers that were like, oh my God, did you see that Transformers movie? A, a fucking robot transformed into a car. Like, like, like the car transformed into a robot. It was amazing. I've never seen shit like that in my life. I actually know people like that, okay? They exist. And do you know what I mean? That's what this remake is for. This remake is to attract people that weren't into the IP. And the thing is, you, you like yourself, Joe, this is supposed to be something for someone like you that couldn't give a rat's ass. I still don't care. I know you don't <laughs> care. So that brings to my point. No one wants this. No one cares. And which brings us yeah. on to the next point, which is... Jumanji! No one wants this. <laughs> no one cares. Nobody asked for this. Don't do it. Stop doing it. Nobody wants to see it. Why are you doing it? <laughs> Leave it alone. Do you know what really annoys me about this? It's this entire movie. Forgetting the fact that Central Intelligence uh, like movie was good. And then so Dwayne was like, shit, fuck it. I'm going to put Kevin Hart in this movie. Uh, I actually don't know who gets paid more in that scenario because <laughs> they're both pretty big at the moment. But so, who's the chick? Who's the redhead chick? I've never actually looked into it, but who's the redhead chick in that picture there? I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, someone had the fucking poor foresight judgment to put Jack Black in another movie. Oh, um, she's from... Um, oh, yeah, okay. So Doctor she's Who. The, she's, the, she's the chick from Oculus. Yes. Karen Gilliam, yeah. whatever his name is. Yeah, she's hot. Um, she can be in this movie. Uh, <laughs> But for fuck's sake, can we just like all agree that Jack Black should be a voice star only? Like yeah. if we can just all agree he should just do Kung Fu Panda and then nothing else? <laughs> I like, don't know, man. 
I don't know. I, I, he's not a very good actor. Like, he's not a very good movie star. He's a good rock star. I, I, I you know what? No, 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 no. I disagree. Okay. Sc- okay. Disagree. I'll name you two films I like. School liked of him Rock, in. School and of Rock, and King Kong. I hated King Kong. I loved King I hated Kong. Hated him in King Kong. Oh, fair enough. King Kong should have been a serious movie, serious good film. And I, do you know what? Just because of School of Rock, I yeah. couldn't take him seriously. I just wow. kept on waiting for him to go hello. Like yeah. I just couldn't. I couldn't do it. I fair just, enough. I don't like Jack Black. As an actor, okay, I, I don't like him. I think he's a very poor actor. I think he's a very um, he has the tendency to be good, like in Shallow Hal. Yeah, he, <laughs> right. he can be good as a comedy actor. No, but yeah. in Jumanji, like, can we just put somebody else in this role, please? Yes. Like, also, is this a reboot? Or no, is this a sequel? no. Is this a sequel? Dwayne Johnson said that it was. Okay. It's, it's following on. It's the same board so game. So they both get sucked into the same board game. Well, yeah. No, because I mean, in the first Jumanji, spoiler alert, twenty years later, the the, the game finished and it ends. So all the all the things that happened in Jumanji got sucked back into the game. Right. So right. either they started a new game. Looks like they have. Um, but but the, the the good thing about Jumanji was with the children. Right. I think we were talking about this earlier as well, where I said that film borderline scary as fuck, the first one, mm-hmm. until the CGI monkeys turn up and then nobody cares. <laughs> the CGI monkeys. Uh, and it's really bad CGI too. But I mean, like, um, when... Um, uh, fuck, what was... What was uh, Robin Williams. When oh, he's what? explaining... Um, when he's explaining to the kids what he has seen... Mm-hmm. And like the, the scary shit that he has seen, like in the deep dark jungle, and he's trying to explain it to them, and he's like, "This is the deal. Mm-hmm. This is what happens to you. This is the stuff I've heard, and like you, stuff you haven't even seen in your nightmares. And like that's scary as fuck. You're yeah. like, what's it? Oh, fuck, what's Jumanji actually like? Mm. Um, and then, um, and then you realize that Jumanji is just like full of cartoon monkeys. <laughs> Like, just, just like, what's happening here? Okay, uh, okay that, I guess that was before the time where ILM perfected the motion yeah. capture thing. Yeah, I mean, it was not... The, the CGI in that is good for the time, but yeah, yeah. it's not it's aged, aged well the, at yeah. all. Yeah, it's you, you, you can say all you like about that, but you know what? That was groundbreaking. That's what I just said. Yeah, I mean, that's what yeah. I mean. It was good for the time, yeah, yeah. but it has not but, aged well. But it has not aged well, but you know what? What, did, what that, year was that, 94? 96. 96. 96, okay, so here's yeah. what I say. Yeah. That happened in ninety six and it yeah. was groundbreaking. It was for the time. For the time. Ninety two? Yeah. Terminator two. Yeah. Still shits on everything a lot of Jurassic Park. right now. Yeah, and Jurassic Park. Yeah, but yeah. fuck Jurassic Park. T two. Yeah. <laughs> I get what you're saying about Jurassic Park. I'm talking T two here. I'm talking like Still the same company. I'm talking I'm Still talking the same peeps. T two. Same peeps that did Jumanji too. Uh T two? Yeah. Shit ILM. Has okay. aged amazingly. Yeah, because yeah, it's right. still. It's are, you gonna watch it next, are you going to watch it next year on a big screen? Yes. I know it's 3D, but I apparently it. it's. I will watch it. I've seen it in 3D. I've seen the Terminator 2 3D ride. So have I. It's amazing. It's, great, eh? <laughs> it's so good. Um, That's kind of one of the reasons why I like Salvation, because they had the little nod yeah. with the little thing, and I was like, and it was done the exact same way. I was like, oh my god, that's from the ride. It's good. Uh, it's good yeah. stuff. That was. Uh, and that's really why. Good. That's why I kind of rated McG because he. He got it a yeah, little bit, but maybe, it's a shame. Maybe it's he got shame. it. Maybe um, don't stop casting Sam Worthington in things. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, in his defence, he was like Sam Worthington. He's an Avatar, so James Cameron likes him. I must have him in my Terminator yeah, yeah, movie, and that's yeah. kind of how he got casted. If, you know, know what I mean? Anyway, T two aged aged amazingly well, and as you're saying, same company, so all that. Why can't they throw a bit more money into the monkeys in that fucking movie? Uh, I don't know. Schedule. Fucking bullshit, but. Anyway, well, anyway, let's my, my view on it is um, no thumbs down. Okay. I don't think you should make it. I like the cast, except for Jack Black. <laughs> um, Jack Black can go eat a bowl of dicks, but and and, and that's coming from me. What's a damage podcast and everyone involved from Massive Damage Podcast, <laughs> um, <clears throat> which is just me. Uh, uh, so as uh, uh, Leo being the biggest fan of Jack Black, go see this film. Um, um, okay. <laughs> I was going to chime in, but no, no. I thought you did. No, I didn't. You, you said the whole spiel. What was that? What were you talking about then? I can't remember, but I didn't say anything. You did. I didn't say whether I liked it or hated it. Do you it. like it? Yeah. Okay, we'll move on. <laughs> yeah, I do. No, 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 no. I've never seen Jumanji. 
Yes. You I've never so. seen the original Jumanji. I'm going to straight like, up say you it. You don't like happiness. At the time, at the time when I, when it came out in 96, I was 16. I was into Jerry Bruckheimer action movies and Quentin Tarantino flicks because that was the thing back then. So in 1996, you had like Die Hard with a Vengeance or From Dust Till Dawn. You know what I mean? That were out at the time. I was too young to see From Dust Till Dawn, but I saw From Dust Till Dawn. Okay, and I'm sorry, George Clooney and Quentin Tarantino in a fucking titty twister or Jumanji. I'm sorry. What? Robin Williams he's with basic, fucking... He's ba- what he's basically saying is he had a choice. I had a choice. To watch, to watch right. Jerry Bruckheimer movies, uh, The Rock and um, and, da- and Die Hard. Die Hard, or, yeah, yeah. Die Hard or um, From Dust or Dawn or Jumanji and he picked those three movies over watching one. Which are, are to be fair, all equally classics. They're all yeah. equally as good as each other in their own way. Uh, but obviously he's neglected to watch Jumanji. Uh, yeah, uh, that's pretty much it. So we can. That's that's literally. <laughs> I think I think my my younger self saw it as a kids' film, and I was at that age where I was like, no, nah, I don't want to see that. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like literally, no, nah, not my thing. And plus, I saw Robin Williams and Toys around then, and I thought Toys were shit, and Jack too, and I was like, that's shit too. So I love Robin Williams, but he had a few duds. I wasn't gonna, you know what I mean? Go see him in another dud film, but unbeknownst to me since they announced this thing I never realised how beloved this movie actually is so yeah, because, is. But, but you know what this is why all remakes aren't that bad because not only I'm going to check this remake out to see whatever Jumanji is I'm going to check the original too because you know what I would not have seen the original had all you guys piped up about how good it is just and remember stuff. what I told you about the monkey. how good what is the, the original. Jumanji. Oh, right. Bro, you need to start paying attention. Yeah, podcast, I, just, I just don't care about Jumanji. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I'm, I'm thinking about what we're going to talk about next. And I, I what's the next, what's what's the next, next thing what's are next? we going to talk about, Joe? Uh, Transformers, which I also don't care about. Transformers, um, I don't care. <laughs> that should be okay, should we move on then? No, 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 that should be. Oh, I'm, okay. I'm down with it. I'm this, down with it. So am I. I what are we I'm talking about, about Transformers? This, this, this guy's like Transformers non caring in disguise. That's what's right here. So, Transformers news, what's going down? I don't know. What's going down? Well, what have we written there? I've said, I don't know why we're talking about this at all. But, like... What was the Transformers news? I don't know! What the fuck are we doing? Okay, You're the one who wants to put it in! We'll research the shit then. No, uh, Alright, so, basically... Alright, so... Story details have come out about the new Transformers films. Apparently, Optimus Prime... We'll fight Hitler and meet King Arthur. And oh, it's so I saw table. something about this. Yeah. There. Apparently Churchill's house was turned into Nazi propaganda or something like that. Yeah. And people were pissed. And he's... Uh, do you know what? Every time... you know when you turn around and you said... Uh, and you can say this because yeah. I'm referencing Family Guy. But you can say this. You know when you said apparently Optimus Prime. I was going to say he's a Jew. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Optimus can, Prime is Jewish? Yeah. <laughs> And he pulls up the <laughs> pulls out that. My car. Um, <laughs> and puts it on his head. But yeah, so basically, I thought that's what you were going to say. Apart from that, Transformers are now apparently time traveling. <laughs> yeah. And I'm okay with that. You're okay with I'm that? I'm okay with it. I'm okay. As long as Marky Mark's like, I'm Mark Warburg, you guys know me. Yeah. I'm, 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 <laughs> they would just be like, yo, talk to some Transformers. Hey, we are going back in time, Marky Mark. We will find. King Arthur. Do you know who he is? <laughs> you can imagine he's like, Hey, King Arthur, I'm Mark Wahlberg. You guys know me? <laughs> I'm a we fox need, man. We, we, need you, we need you to help us and big giant robots fight the Nazis. Yeah. <laughs> King Arthur's got like, Merlin is like, we shall help. Yeah. Uh, so, 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 Mark Wahlberg leads a team of King Arthur, his Knights of the Round Table, Optimus Prime, and fucking Merlin you know to like? destroy you know Megatron. And do, fucking do you know Adolf what, Hitler. Do you know what that sounds like? As long as he destroys Megatron and and Adolf Hitler with all of that ragtag group team yeah. so he can get back to the San Dimas High School <laughs> and do his re- book report, his history report in front of everybody. Bro, yeah, that's because a, that's the backstory that's, they never bro, uncovered in Bill number four. That's Bill and Ted 3, mate. Yeah, right but, there. That was, <laughs> so as long as he transports himself from point A to point B in, in a phone box, that's Bill and Ted 3. 
Uh, yeah, look, to be honest with you, I w- I'll watch it because it's Transformers. And I feel it, I like feel it. it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, fuck it, there you go. No, That's honestly, what do you think about this show? I mean, like, this crazy uh, news. He doesn't care. I know you don't care, but, like, he's he's fighting Adolf Hitler now, apparently. Cool. Cool. It's like we won once. I've got, I got, I've ask, I got a Ask Paramount and the Transformers Hasbro story team this one question. You have a story fucking team what, and this is what you concocted after three years of brainstorming since the last shit movie? Motherfuckers are out of their mind. <laughs> okay. Too much money, mate. Too much money. All those cocaine parties that they have. Wow. I want to join this brain trust group and get paid. Seriously, I really do. <laughs> if you're in, you're in, man. Uh, but um, yeah, I, I, um, I don't care. So when so when when Optimus fights Hitler, mm-hmm. that's really going to be a one sided so, match. That's going to be so crazy fucking imagery, Michael Bay. Um, well, he um, did. I, I I don't know. I, I I I've given. I've literally given up. I don't care anymore. On a on a more serious note, on a more serious note, these are just tip bits we're hearing. He was probably not going to fight. Hitler. It's probably gonna be like some strange. You know what? If he does, be... if he does, if Hitler has to rock up like you... like Wolfenstein Hitler, <laughs> <laughs> like Mecha Hitler, Mecha Hitler versus Optimus Prime, Prime. <laughs> that Jewish Optimus Prime. That happens. Yeah. I think. I genuinely think. Yeah. I will eat. I will find my hat and I will eat it. I will. Give me a knife and fork. I'm gonna eat my hat. Right Do you mind if I film that? Film it. Yeah. In, in all honesty, I think I think if you turned like Dark Side of the Moon, which I didn't think was that bad, the third one, okay. If you told me they were doing like, what's it? The um, you Apollo were like that fucking movie to me. You were like, dude, there is this fuck Avatar. There is a scene. There is in, one scene in, where it's fuck a duck when he like transforms. transforms with with him inside him. Yeah, I think it's so weird. Yeah. That was no, that was good. That, that was, was that was the breakout camera shot in the whole film. That's, just like that's one of the best things I've ever seen. So so he's, he's in the, flying yeah. in the air, catches him, puts him inside himself, transforms into the. Do you know, uh, do you know really do you, good. On a, on a side note, do you know there was one at one time there was a build there was a film they were going to make. It's going to be built with Michael Jackson in it, and the little boy. And Michael Jackson would turn into a car, <laughs> and the little boy would drive Michael Jackson. Fact, that's a fact. It was, it was so what you're trying to Kevin say is Smith, that Kevin Smith was going to make it right, yeah. and uh, and that that film was about to exist. A really fucked up film, basically, of um, Michael Jackson having kids entering uh, entering him. <laughs> like, it's not. It's not good. <laughs> um, wow, that's yeah. different. Yeah. Anyway, back yes. to what I was saying. Look. Dark Side of the Moon, you had the Apollo missions, you had Steve Armstrong in there and stuff. Where are you going with this? Where I'm going with this is, if we had little tidbits... Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong. Neil Armstrong, sorry. Steve Rest Armstrong. Steve Armstrong. <laughs> Who is that? His Neil cousin. Armstrong, like the man landed on the moon in 1969. Apparently yeah. so. Yeah. Apparently so. Oh. Anyway, look, the point I'm trying to make it... Everyone get your Tim Four hats Jesus out. Christ, the point I'm trying to make is... <laughs> Is that if you heard these tidbits about the moon landings and stuff in Transformers, you'd be like, what the fuck? You know what I mean? We have no context. That's literally what I'm thinking right now. We have no context in what they're actually trying to make in terms of the movie. But, you know, the first thing I, you know, the first thing you think of when you hear like Hitler's going to be in fucking Transformers and King Arthur is exactly what we just said. I'm pretty sure it's, I'm pretty sure it, that's not the case and that's not the movie we're getting. We're probably going to get something more far too cohesive long in, in. Let's in, move on. In, Let's in, move on. We get it. None of us right, it. It's, I, okay, cool. All right. All right, cool. I'm, 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 no, it's fine. I, I won't say anything then. Go on. <laughs> Joe's pissed. Oh, I'm sorry that Joe's pissed. It's there to talk about. We were talking about it. This is a podcast. What the fuck do you expect us to be talking about? All right. Okay. <laughs> what's, what's the next on the agenda? Okay. Joe Joseph? doesn't want to talk about Transformers. Let's move on. No. Oh, just finish. Just finish what you were saying. Well, right. It's too late. You cut me. You interrupted me and you won't move on. So let's move on. Now we have dead space. Now it's awkward. It is awkward. No, but like, what's our next? What's our next? What's, what's, our next? what's our next? What's the main story? I'm going to just cut straight to the end. Um, yeah, film's opening this week. Okay. 
All right, so we've got the Deepwater Horizon, Free State of Jones, and Mrs. Uh, Pogrine's Home for Particular Children. Um, yeah, I saw the trailer for that. Uh, that looked pretty good. Uh, so, yeah, the, the Tim Burton film. Yeah. Yeah, it looks... I normally don't very, like Tim Burton. He annoys me. It's very, it's very x men um, I'm sure it'll be... Oh, is it? Have you seen it? No, I've just seen the trailer. It looks it looks like X-Men. Okay. Essentially. Um, Samuel L. Jackson's in it. He does some stuff. Looks pretty cool. Cool, man. It's all good. Uh, Free State of Jones. Film about race. Some black people will probably get shot. Free State of Jones? Yeah. What's that about? What's it about? It's Free State of Jones, I guess. Um, uh, <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know. I haven't, I haven't seen the trailer. Okay. Um, has Kerry Russell, Matthew McConaughey, uh, whatever the fuck else, and Deepwater, <laughs> <laughs> Deepwater Horizon, uh, Scott Mark, Mark Wahlberg, uh, Kurt Russell, John Malkovich, uh, Gina Rodriguez, uh, Dylan O'Brien, Kate Hudson, um, yeah, so, um, that's about the oil disaster out in the, is it the Pacific or the Atlantic, I'm not sure which one. Yeah, not too sure about that one. I mean, like, you know what? That has the most dullest poster ever, in my opinion. It's just an oil rig. Why well, some uh, No, I don't mind. I want to see that. Marky Mark looks like it's going to be good fun. You know what? It's... If I'd known Kurt Russell was in it, what? you'd probably get a lot more people in seats. Do you know so... what? I don't think Kurt Russell was as much of a poor as he used to be. You know what? I was talking to an old man the other day, one of my regular He's an old customers. man, dude. Yeah, but old people go watch films. Yeah, no, right? I get it. But, the, but no, 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 you have no idea how much... He's bro. Like. But, no, but clearly, like, you want to pull as many people into seats. Old people watch films in the morning. They do. For sure. I'll tell, tell you what. I'll tell you what we numbers. could do. And Joe, maybe you, put an you, could, older, maybe you could double you put, check this, right? Okay. What, what, the, what the demographic is that would probably... Not double check it, but maybe, I don't know, check and see what, you, what your thoughts are. But I reckon if I walked out into the street, right... Mm. Walked out into the high street. It's just ask people. Out of these two people, these two names, do you know them? And more people, what would you think? Would pick either Mark, Mark Wahlberg or Kurt Russell? Probably Mark Wahlberg right now. Right. Definitely. That, but we're talking now, putting yeah. in seats of people now. Yeah. Right? You know, we're not talking. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah, you're, you're mentioning, like, an anomaly in that in, in that cluster of information, which is an old guy who goes to cinema, who, yeah, like, but who you're, knows who you're, Kurt Russell You're is. attracting an older audience. I don't think so. A uh, it's a PG-13, right? Uh, to be honest, I actually don't... Yeah. I actually, before I even knew Kurt Russell was in there, I wasn't even going to watch it. Marky Mark is not a draw, especially with the poster as boring well, as that. To you, I think he is. He he is, but like I don't know, this film's marketing campaign is kind of blown. There's nothing about it that makes me want to see it. You know what I mean? Like I thought the trailer sucked. I think the poster sucks. I like Marky Mark, but not enough to buy a cinema ticket to watch some oil rig film. And like. You know what I mean? Like, for me, like, Kurt Russell is one of those movie stars where I personally would be like, oh, Kurt Russell's in a film? Let me check the film out. That's just me personally. I know there's other people that think that too. So, um, I don't know. We, look, hence the point I'm trying to make, being that there's more than just Marky Mark in there. I'm like, you know what I mean? It has a really weird marketing campaign. I mean, it's been... It's been it's been directed by twelve A yeah right there you go and it's directed by Peter Berg as well so you know Peter Berg did Friday Night's Lights Welcome to the Jungle Lone Survivor director of Lone Survivors more of a poor because that was quite a good movie as well you know so just real quick um obviously we've pretty much covered this yeah Uh, I guess Uh, what 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 did you want to say uh so I'm just looking at an article here comicbook dot com have voted like the ten worst um, uh, superhero films. Oh yeah. Okay, and they got honourable mention Captain America from the nineteen ninety, which I've I used to own on VHS. Um, next one is X Men Wolverine Origins. <laughs> yeah. True. Yeah. Green Lantern. I don't think these are in any order, but Electra. I've yeah. never seen Electra. You never so watched it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> do yourself it. Jonah Hex. Never, never seen that either. Neither did I. I stayed away from it because of the nonsense. Mm-hmm. The Spirit. 
Uh, that was bad. That, really bad. that was really bad. That was uh, the one with Gabriel Mack and Frank Miller directed Frank it. Miller. It was like Sin City. Oh, yeah. Oh wow, yeah. That is yeah, bad. That is bad. Tank Girl, which I think is incorrect. I like. I quite like Tank Girl with Michael McD- Michael McDowell. Michael McDowell. It's very out there. It's but, very out there. But so is but he's he Tank Girl. Is. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. Uh, Bob Wire. Yeah, oh wow. Pamela Do you remember Pamela Bob, Anderson? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Bob Wire Steel. Ooh, that Shaq, was bad. Shaq. Shaq in the metal suit. He made a film. Yeah, he was. Uh, so he like I think he was off off that uh, Kazam movie he did where yeah. he plays a genie. Um, right, right. And then he did like Shaq through the video game, which is a horrible thing. <laughs> um, came out on the Nintendo. Or some I, shit. Remember, I remember. And then uh, and then he did Steel. Now, if you know anything about Steel, Steel was a character that came from the death of Superman. Mm. So when Superman died in the comic books. There, there was a there was a, a huge comic book in between it called the World Without Superman. Yeah. Um, so you had the, the Death of Superman, World Without Superman, and Return of Superman. World Without Superman um, showed uh, basically what happened with him not there. There was like a resurgence of like street uh, from street level to to high level. So they had a clone of Superman. They had like a robot version of Superman. They had a uh, Superboy, mm. and then they had Steel, which was this black dude who lived in like the ghetto. Who built his own suit, uh, like a metal suit, completely covered his body with like a metal S on the front, which mm. stood for steel, but it was the same as Superman's thing uh, emblem, and he would go out and fight crime, much kind of like Luke Cagey kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, that sort of like level of defender kind of level, if you have to marvel it up. But mm. um, this is what his uh, costume looked like. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it's horrid. Um, <laughs> so that doesn't even make sense. <laughs> yeah, so basically it was uh, it was the worst. Um, but yeah, he was ba- he was as it says here. Uh, Still was a character who came during the nineties. Death of Superman story arc. One of the four new Superman who filled the Man of Steel's void. Um, of the four, Steel was unlikely choice for a solo movie, but music industry icon Quincy Jones wanted him on the big screen. Quincy Jones helped him make. <laughs> And make it happen in '97 with NBA star Shaquille O'Neal as the lead role. Not only was the film ridiculous from conception, the filmmakers the filmmakers doubled down on the risk by cutting the Steel character and his mythos free from their Superman ties. The result was director Kenneth Johnson creating a film that had an NBA star and all the bad acting that came with walking around in a silly looking costume performing bad action sequences on screen. Wow. Uh, <laughs> okay. Uh, anyway, next. Um, next is Superman 4. Yeah. yeah. Rest for Peace, yeah, right? that's pretty yeah. bad. Do you know what? I quite like it. I'm going to say <laughs> it. Fuck it. I said it. Catwoman. Yeah. yeah. Batman and Robin. Not seeing it. You know what? You've never seen Joel Schumacher's legend that is he the just refused on the bat suit. I can understand why you. You know what though? That's, that, that's that, what he says. But you know that's, what? You know what? Batman and Robin. Sense. Batman and Robin has just become like a cult kind of movie now. Because it's like, so bad, it's good. It's like, so bad, it's good now. It's basically the '60s TV show. It is literally. It's kind of what he was sending up with that as well. Yeah. To be fair, to be fair, when you have to rock out the back card. Yeah. And you know what? Yeah. It's really funny. You know when he whips out the back card, right? In Batman and Robin. Well, he hasn't seen it. I've not seen it. Okay, so at one point, basically, they're bidding. Him and Robin... Let me just clarify. Bidding. bidding. Robin, Robin is trying to outbid Bruce billionaire Wayne. Bruce Wayne in costume as Batman, right, for um, Poison Ivy, Uma Thurman's love. Right? This was a film. Yeah. yeah. They're all they're all hypnotised, right? And he's... Done, now that I think about it, he's right. It's the 60s fucking TV show. Yeah, it's the 60s um, TV show. So they're, so they're, they're hypnotised by Poison Ivy. They're, they're hypnotised and then he's... They're bidding. They're bidding. Uh, they're trying to outbid. So he's like, two million, three million. And he's like, you don't have three million. And he goes, I'll borrow it from you. <laughs> like, yeah. And they're like, okay. And then he's like... And I can't remember what, what outlandish number Robin comes out with. And then... Um, and then Bruce uh, Bruce Wayne goes in obviously as Batman goes uh, he's like he's like four million and he pulls out his um, he pulls out the back card he's like back on never leave home with I've him. seen that yeah, yeah, yeah. I didn't know what that was from reference to yeah so what's funny is is the back <laughs> the back card 
the expiry date is forever. So, <laughs> no lie, look it up. The expiry date on the back card says forever. Oh my god. Wow, um, that's what those films turned into. Yeah, so he's got the back card. So here's here's what the question you need to ask yourself. Who's billing Batman? Mm-hmm. How does Batman get a credit rating to cover him over four million pounds? Who put the design on the card? Mm-hmm. Where did they send the card? Because <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, you know you need a permanent address, right? Yeah, that's um, brilliant. <laughs> all these things encompassing, should really someone in that process should go, hold on a minute, we're sending a Batman credit card to Batman's like care of address, which just so happens to be billionaire Bruce Wayne's house. Or, the other thing is, Batman owns a finance the, the Wayne f- Corporation. Oh, owns that a, makes the cards. Owns a finance company. Right, right. Of which it gives him his own thing. Yeah. You go I'm so like that could be the other way of it, but then the other issue would arise that somebody somewhere had to print the bat logo on the back card. And then, like, also, you don't get an expiry date forever. It lasts, like, three years. So, <laughs> like, mm. you know, well, I have questions, basically. I have questions. <laughs> oh, I well, feel like maybe Bruce I think Wayne... We can blame, I think we can blame Avika Goldman, the writer of yeah. Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. You know, I mean, like, that guy is also currently writing Optimus Prime Fighting Masters. Well, there you go. <laughs> so, I, I, you know. I just, from what I can <laughs> see there, it just looks like maybe Bruce Wayne, the, the Wayne Corporation... Yeah. Wayne Industries is being quite cavalier with their finances, and I think someone needs to have a conversation with Bruce Wayne. Okay, yeah, Bruce, <laughs> I think I think maybe maybe Alfred needs to be like Master Bruce. Oh, I think you should really calm down. Uh, maybe go to that cafe in Italy and uh, <laughs> have a cup of tea or something. I don't know. Uh, anyway, that's my bad impression of Michael Caine. Uh, <laughs> um, I can't do Jeremy Irons. So, <laughs> well, I think, I think that's it. on that bombshell. On that bombshell, um, yeah, I'm just gonna end the show there. Um, Do the game. Nah. Ah, oh, too late. We've gone over two hours, man. Oh fuck. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. F- oh, thank, thank you for participating, Leo. Um, where can we find thank you? Thank you for having me. My girlfriend kicked me out of the house for the <laughs> day so she could get some work done. Um, right. Where can you find me? Uh, What's the Damage Podcast is now on iTunes. Thank you to you, Joe. Um, it is on SoundCloud and it is on YouTube. You'll find me on uh, Twitter, What's the Damage Podcast. You'll find me on Facebook, What's the Damage, Pod- Pod- uh, What's the Damage Podcast on the page. Uh, and you will find me on um, uh, me personally on Instagram, uh, Mr. Underscore Ovaltine Jenkins. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Ovaltine Jenkins? What the hell is that about? <laughs> Mr. Underscore yeah. Ovaltine Jenkins. Yeah, that's... That's that's different. <laughs> that's so different. Do you different. need an explanation? Yeah. Okay. Uh, have you ever seen a show called Psych? Yes. Right. The main character, Sean Spencer. I didn't know his name, but... Okay. okay. Anyway, he's always making up names for his best friend, Gus. Okay, okay. And he's always, uh, he's always saying, like... He calls him weird names all the time. He's like, hi, my name's Sean Spencer and this is my partner <laughs> and he always says some stupid name and, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. and he always goes that's not my name my name's Bert and Gus, that's me um, and one time he calls him Ovaltine Jenkins and I just thought it was so funny um, <laughs> that is funny it kind of just stuck so I was just like alright but you know what's really weird you know how obscure that is right yeah it's really yeah, obscure okay it's really obscure somebody has that name before what? I did, yeah. You, you always think you're original and unique until you try to pick a username. And yeah. all of a sudden, you're like, oh, I'm not that original or unique. <laughs> Oops. Um, well, well, yeah. So, yeah, yeah that's, that's where Mr. Overteen Jenkins come from. So, you'll find me on there, Mr. Underscore Overteen Jenkins. That's brilliant. Um, and, <laughs> just oh. like Zito's Gang. Zito's Gang is a very obscure reference to Fist of the North Star. Yeah, 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 um, yeah. So, yeah. Mine's, a, mine's a very obscure reference to a show I really like, that I love, which I never got, you know, maybe still never finished it. But <laughs> Psych, if you guys get to watch it, definitely go do it. Season two is the best season. But anyway. <laughs> and such, where can we find you? Uh, just up on tri- Twitter at Sashman3. Uh, yeah, that's 
<laughs> there's people with, like a whole list of like yeah. social media contacts and you're like yeah I tweet sometimes <laughs> <laughs> and you can find me at uh, Zido's Gang uh, uh, on Twitter and you can find me uh, if you want to write into the podcast write into uh, podcast uh, at zidosgang.co.uk and uh, write in with anything you want about the podcast or how bad I am or how bad we are or if you think we're douches and uh, whatever, yeah. Just, well, you just love us so much. I take requests, by the way, from women. <laughs> they want to have me at your party and you would like me to do some exotic dancing. As long as I have permission from my girlfriend, I'm more than happy to do so. There you go. That's an endorsement from Leo. That's on uh, what's the damage at gmail.com. You feel free to contact me any fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely an endorsement from Leo Van Damage. Um, yeah. Also, keep an eye out, shit, man. I'm gonna get a porn star on my uh, on my podcast. Oh wait, yeah, hey. man. Huh? Hey. I'm not dropping the name just yet. I just wait. I don't want to drop the name just yet because I've been told to keep it on the D low. Uh, I'll I'll drop it like a week before it comes. Out. British one. Huh? British one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I've, I've got. A, I've got. A, I think I can guess who that is. No, I don't think you will. I think you know, I will. Right, we'll, we'll talk after the podcast. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, okay. So. Um, uh, having that, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, have a good time at the cinemas, whatever you're doing, and tune in next week for the next podcast, I guess. Bye-bye. <laughs> um, <bye. laughs> okay, t- uh, um, yeah, that's been the Zito's Game Podcast, and we're out. <laughs>